Yeah, fade safe in that. You guys realize I'm not starting the stream until the Nyas stop. 
It's just not happening. Okay, looks pretty. Nope, there's another nya nya nya. Bye bye, guys. Okay, looking safe now. Let me give this one more chance. If it happens again, I'm just ending stream, so. Hmm, pretty safe. Okay. Okay.
Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a good morning. I am. I had to tame some brats, but other than that, it's been pretty damn good. Good morning. We're here to play more Franbar. Am I supposed to be up here? I don't know. Pretty sure I was up here for, for a long fallen dynasty. I'm going to come down here for now. We're going to find out during the game if I have to move back up. But hello, I hope you're all having a good morning. Franbo should be a fun time, and by fun, I of course mean torturous. But I hope you guys are all ready for it. I hope you've had some nice food. I hope you're all comfy. Make sure you stretch. Make sure you hydrate. And remember that this is a very dark game. It has some very dark themes. So when we dive into this, it could be a very bad time. Will you finish it today? That's the hope. I found out that I wasn't quite halfway through it last time, even though we played for like three and a half hours. And it's only supposed to be a seven to eight hour game. I've apparently been going slow. I'm going to say it's because of the narration, but let's be honest, it's because I'm terrible at puzzles. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to dive into it. We're going to see how far we get. It may be a three part game rather than a two part game. But we shall find out together. Franbo, let us continue. Imagine if it didn't save me last time. <laughs> or like 8 plus if you read everything. Yeah, that's fair. This is fair. Where did Frenbo go? Oh, that tree has a face. Friend's shoe. Friend's other shoe. That's what I imagine cats do. These are Friend's stockings. <laughs> Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. <laughs> Why does he speak like that? <laughs> Why does he speak with Shakespearean suddenly? I scratch you, evil tree. <laughs> Anon. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, stop it. What are you talking about? Oh, that's Fran. Fran turned into a tree. That's not great for us. Fran. Wait, what voice did I give the cat? I give the cat like a seahorse, but not with goggly. Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? This music's too loud, huh? One second. There we go. Fran, you're a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. <laughs> well, you are in fact a tree. You don't have a midsection or a bottom or legs. <laughs> I love how slowly she's losing it. God damn it. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? That would actually be terrifying. We're going full Ovid metamorphosis now. I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? My dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. At night, mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you're a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. I mean, obviously, you're in the weird linked tree realm. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not spring trap. Don't be silly. <laughs> Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Because you have no leaves to metamorphosize. No. Oh my god, it's more tree people. Hubka igni mihola. Kolka kolka ignunma. Pazguhala ni. Igni joklavanti. It's a carrot. But don't poke, Fran. Ah, <laughs> oh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Allah, Kolka, Allah! Stop it, I'll scratch you! Allah, run ma igni! What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? This is actually fucking terrifying. Allah! Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Allah, igni vanti! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please! Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh my God. To 
be turned into something that could not fucking fight back and just have to lay there while something just randomly attacks. That's easy. That was way easier than I... Well, that's just annoying. <laughs> oh, my God. You speak their language so well. Thank you. I think I understand them pretty good. If I push it a ton of times, then it can't come back. I was wrong. Hmm. Crystals are the key. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Good for you, Mr. Midnight. Look at these cute, oh, cute little teeth holding the stone. Does that help me at all? Maybe I can jam the mechanism. Put it in here. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. So do, do the thing. Come on, kitty. Use crystal with... Yeah, there we go. I'm a genius cat. Um, grab the purse. I got the purse only because I'm the best. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. If, oh, Fran's dead. Fran's eyes are closed. Uh-oh. Stop poking her. Fran, my darling. I got the purse. Oh, good. She's okay. She just dissociated for a little bit. That's okay. That That's normal for people. It's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Oh, I really hope he does. Sure. Here you go, buddy. Walking vegetable. Oanum nihoka. Ah, ha, ha. Runma paskinolta. Okay. This is still terrifying. I. This is worse than the asylum. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Um, hop on, kitty. Well, maybe bring her clothes, too. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, no. They called her an okay. <laughs> okay. Run my apple. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galop ma. Galop ma. The boat flies. How did I not notice that the first time? <laughs> oh my god. Okay equals the Neko. Yeah, Mr. Midnight feels like an okay. He is a cat boy. Chapter 3. Vegetative state. Ah, I see what they did there. I thought that was what they were playing at. Galop, how dare. Puppy. <laughs> how dare. Eat men ball. Menzukeist. Bech. Ziach. Nikola. Almp. Ishram. Wait. Old man voice. There we go. Uh, let's settle into it a little bit in English. Ah, yes. Ishma. Iptem Gushka. Emitan Old Friol. Gushka Ziaro. Okay, they planted me at least. That's a good step. Oh, he can speak. Welcome, creature. My name is Ziar. Do you speak human? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them. The little girl. Yo, that's some good deduction. I would not be able to figure that out. <laughs> Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We've never seen a human looking like a tree before. Um, help me please. Oh my god, the character portrait. The little smile. Help me please, for the love of god. I, I need out of this shit. Help me, please. I'm a girl. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. You pair monka kaist ecto. Ecto bro. Ecto prote. I... Nope. I don't like that. Oh, she made... He made me grow fruit. And then they ripped it off of me. <laughs> this is body horror and a half, man. Yeah, I don't like how he sprayed the seed all over me either. Ecto bro? Yeah, Ecto bro felt good to say. Hmm, <laughs> let me see. You're good. No doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. <gasps> you know the Bow family? Ah, your name is Fran. You're the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat. Protector of gates. Interesting. 
What are you doing with my fruit, bro? Give me my strawberry back and why does everybody know me? I want to know what everybody knows about my family. What's so special about the Bow family? Oh, okay. Be quiet. <laughs> yes, sir. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. I do have to move myself up a little bit. My bad, everybody. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> what do you mean? You're making me dizzy. What do you mean? What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. But what do you do to my fruit? That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Well, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. You want to help me out, please? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. I, I don't believe that's how it works, Sir Tree, but you know what? You're pretending to be all wise, that's fair. Help me get back home. And I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Oh, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithursta. Oh, I can't remember all the funny names anymore. Damn it. Best kitty? I don't know, man. Bro, what home? She's still got an aunt out there. She's got Aunt Grace. Just because she lost her mom and her dad. Mm. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. Please, <laughs> poor Fran. Fran's like, stop talking to each other. Will you help me? King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. Ouch. There are many reasons, sir. The most important one is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused all of the time. And I want some place I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do. But I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Yeah, I don't have legs. That's not going to help me. <laughs> also, I haven't lost my feeling of love, and yet I seem to be a tree. Why is he not telling me how I became a tree? Nice drip, King Ecta, bro. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. Where is this door, sir? I don't know why that made me laugh so much. I think it was the Ecta, bro, way back. Just did it for me immediately. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. We'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? I'm more concerned about the procedure. Are they going to carve legs into me? Eat this fruit. Oh, he spat it out. Why does it look the same as the seat? Uh, she just ate it. She just ate it. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. <gasps> Yo! Um, what did I... Puna Octa. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? Oh, did you understand, my kitty? <laughs> I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. I demand? Wow, Mr. Midnight, a bit of a dick. Shouldn't even hesitate. I mean, I guess it's either, you know, eat the fruit or live here for the rest of your life and die. That's that's not great. 
You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything is your own world very soon, no doubt about that. Ah, uh, he's a natural because he's a cat. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? I <laughs> mean, depends on the height. Am I going to die from it? Yeah. Take her upstairs immediately. Oh, and it's a giant beetle, man. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, the cat. <laughs> I was like, why is the, the old man? Okay. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. <laughs> okay. This is going to be torture, isn't it? This is going to be real bad. They're going to cut me out some legs and arms. Legs for days? I hope not. Surely they won't throw me. That wouldn't make sense. Oh, it's an axolotl again. Hey, buddy. You look like the luck dragon from the never-ending story. Um. Good day. My name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today. At your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing! What a huge and beautiful fluffy thing! Excuse me? Yeah, you're kind of belittling your doctor right now. That's not a good idea. A doctor? Yeah, apparently. Kind of terrifying. His hands are massive. I don't see how he's going to operate on me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Yeah, I, I don't like at all. Me. I'm the beast. Let's go! <laughs> um... I don't like this world. <laughs> this world is one that currently looks beautiful, but at the same time has so many terrifying connotations. Sky high? Hell yeah. Here we are. Wow. Oh, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. I mean, you can make that choice. You are now a tree. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velocus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Um, I think you'll find pure water isn't pink. Strawberry milk? Yeah, it looks more like strawberry milk than water to me. The pink milk. Oh, God. At least it isn't red milk. Red milk could be worse. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Great Velocus? I've heard that before. Who's the Great Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness. And one day he fell. He fell so badly his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Ithersta, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. So, it is blood water. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's basically red milk. It's just very diluted at this point. Wow, oh, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And? How is it that you are here? What brought you to Ithersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke that bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? 
I mean, maybe tell him about the evil shadow monster. He knows about other realities. This this could be good. So this reality is basically the reality where people end or where they are in vegetative state. The other guy fell, she fell, yeah. That makes sense. Vegetative state. So yeah, it's when you're not quite able to move, but you're conscious. I guess that's why they're like literally vegetables and plants and things. But then they've also got these creatures. The flying ones and the bug people, which is, yeah, from this reality themselves. So they're not all humans here. I also like these little guys. I wonder if that's what happens when you just decide to stay here forever. Or when you're like, oh, this is too beautiful. I don't want to leave. You just turn into a stone person. What's the doctor? Do you know why I can't became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Yeah, okay. They're talking about dissociating, essentially. Leaving your physical body and, yeah, entering a vegetative state, just like comatose. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Palantris, sir? Ow. I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well... When you traveled to Athirsta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. There's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Oh, it made him cry. I... And see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs. All right? Mm, yes, Doctor. A human body was destroyed. I don't think necessarily completely destroyed. I think just damaged to the point that she's unconscious right now is what he's saying. Because yeah, if this is a realm where humans go when they are like in a veg vegetative state, then that would make sense. It's just anyone who's unconscious but still alive kind of thing, still holding on, not able to move their body, but still themselves. Do -do -do. <laughs> when are you going to include audiobooks in your merch? When I have a book, I can legally read. <laughs> Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Ooh, tree magic. <gasps> I have hair too. Yo, that's a badass addition. I needed that. That's straight up terrifying. Yeah, kind of is. How do you feel, Fran from Bethesda? Wow. I feel... Like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? If I bring my mom and dad. Oh god, she actually asked. That's so sad. This is, yep. What do you mean? Fix them? What's wrong with your mom and dad? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best Doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another Doctor before. His name was Doctor Din. But he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. 
I like this doctor. He's a good doctor. He also seems to sympathize with old people. <laughs> He's like, yo, let's go. Maybe he just had to follow the rules of society, which, you know, children don't have to. Children need bedtimes. Parents need to enforce those. However, he was giving her evil red pills that made her see demons, so... Can't really say he is a particularly good man. Ah, uh, she's naked. She's a tree, bro. <laughs> she's a tree. <laughs> Here we are again. Shows you are the king. What a nice Ithestanese you've become. Thank you again, doctor. I have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. So, couple of things. One, I have hair. Two, I still don't have my items. Three. <laughs> so this has happened before. The weird darkness monsters have come into this world again. Um, yeah, because they must have come in before. Because it talked about the king of this realm having fight, fought them off, but then fell. Interesting. The story's getting deeper when it comes to, like, the setting. Oh, they're having a good time. <laughs> you frothy kitty. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear. You've got leaves on your head. How pretty. And arms and legs, so I can push that man away from my kitty. How dare. Oh, lovely to see you. What a great Ithrishtanese you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water, but he was sad. He told me many things, but I don't quite understand. Is the demon using Fran as a key to the plant world? I think that might be it. That might be why he's torturing her. Maybe he's using her to get to the other worlds. Because apparently the cat is like the keeper of gates or something as well. So with the pair of them, Fran, who's been taking the drugs, who is able to switch between the different worlds, and the cat who's able to guide her and supposedly has something to do with gates itself just as a creature of a cat. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're using that pair to, like, get around. Don't worry, Palantras will be fine. I know the regions. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who's able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones. <laughs> <laughs> that can open the door that will lead you home. <laughs> Where is the wizard? What stones? <laughs> this land is full of things I don't understand. Did you guys hear that weird double piano? That was kind of terrifying. Boom, ba, boom, ba. Anyway. That freaked me the fuck out. That was so loud. <laughs> what was the game on to? What? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even gone outside the castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Cultrum, but we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. That wasn't the game. I'm pretty sure that was the game. I don't have anything else. I have no programs running except for OBS, the game, and the internet. Anyway. <laughs> Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. <laughs> you see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great thirst today. And good luck finding the great wizard. I just love the doctor suddenly appearing in the background. Just like, hey, how you doing? Oh, he's going for a ride. Okay. <laughs> Do they have some sort of psychic connection? The hell? The sound design has felt quirky. They freaked the hell out of me. It was so much louder than everything else. Wow. Did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Palantras. He fixed me. Oh, wait. This is the cat. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Fantastic. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? 
Oh no, we've lost our pills. I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Yeah, I should probably have my clothes back too. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the geek said something about a mountain too. Yes, the mountain Kotram. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. But first, I want to eat a strawberry. Yeah, you can. Oh, let's go. Oh, I can't. Yo, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it. It's got to be one of the king's strawberries. It'll give you massive knowledge. I want to be hungry when I get home so I can eat my dinner. Because I know Aunt Grace will make dinner when I come back. Terrible. Terrible, Fran. Terrible decisions. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why kings are always sitting. Maybe that's the only truth. To be a king, you must be seated. I don't think that's how it works. When will you get home, bruh? In like six hours, man. It's going to take a while. Oh, these flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. Hmm. It tastes like honey. She'll eat a fucking flower, but not a strawberry. Are you shitting? Okay. Oh, I love paper swells. These are huge. I wonder why they have them. Maybe the wind requires them to show how strong it is. Maybe. That makes sense. Right! <laughs> what? Fran is a mysterious creature. Oh, I see many clouds. Are those flying boats? But how? Maybe I'm imagining things. Or not. What items did I have? Do I have my book? Crayon? Exterminator card? This is random. <laughs> I've got so many things and it's just like, am I ever going to use these? I can show my exterminator badge to this guy. I'm sure he'd love to see it. Hello there, buddy. Oh, his mouth is terrifying. <laughs> no, no. You can't get in. It's closed. What's behind this passage? I just wanted to know. Well, the library, of course. But it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, and it will be open. Hey, which is the talking tree I took to see Palantras? That's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. You jelly? Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Athersta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. That makes no sense to me, but you know what? I don't live in this dimension. Thank you for the information, sir. Bye. Okay. Fair enough. Gregor said what? Bro, not gatekeeping knowledge? Technically not gatekeeping it. He's just telling us we have to come back at the right time. Just not a very sensical time, in my opinion. <laughs> not a great business model? Nah. This is why all the libraries are shutting down, man. Are those flying boats? Oh, we've done this. Oh, I see many clouds. Yeah, okay, okay. I get it. So flying boats and clouds, nothing useful. I don't even have drugs anymore. How am I supposed to survive this whimsical world without my drugs? <laughs> I think tiny bees would love these flowers. And kiss them a lot. That's an interesting way to look at it. Okay, that's enough about bees kissing flowers. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. It almost feels like I could fly. I wish I could bring mommy and daddy here. They would love it. Mr. Midnight, you want to be useful? He told me that we have to find Mountain Cotram and the Great Wizard. Okay, you're just telling me what to do next. That's fine. Bees, I love them. Bees are great. You sure you didn't take them already? I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't kill my parents or put them in a vegetative state. Mm, flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. She said hello to the flag. That's cute. I can't read tree. Oh, wow. I don't understand. It's the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Just standing here, you see. Uh, mountain coach ran? <laughs> Do you know where Mountain... I love how the option was just Mountain Cotrim. Do you know where Mountain Cotrim is? Yes. 
Where is it? Can you tell me? Yes. Um. Um, tell me, please. Mm, the mountain cone trem is only in winter time. Oh, God damn it. You can't be doing this with the season bullshit. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for the winter. Hurry it up. Let me go. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Ha huh? How do I go to a season? Uh, sorry, but I'm not good at explaining these things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clock baker. He could explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, is this like honeycomb floor? Oh, my God, that would be hard to walk on. Okay, let's go find the clock baker. You understand more? I'm sure I will. I mean, if it's a clockmaker, maybe he can literally show me the time, move time along. I don't know. Is this more tree language? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's Mount Kotrib, I'd bet. A mountain. A beautiful paper swells. A boat. A beautiful paper swells. I think that's the castle. Pretty shitty castle, but yeah, that's where the axolotl lives. That's Palantra's home. I came downstairs. I have to go that away, but then there's a giant tree in my way. A very big tree. So I, the other guy told me to go straight anyway. But my destination is that way. Mountain. Library. Fruit. Fruit. Don't castle slender. They helped you. They did help me. You're not wrong. But they could have been prettier. <laughs> oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Where are you all going? Are you going home? Wish I could go home too. That's okay, friend. We'll find our own way home. Come on. Let's go. I, I, oh, left. I forgot about the eyeballs. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this cute little girl with a little toy. That's a horrific face, actually. Oh, why do the carrots and the trees look so disgusting? <laughs> I think. Oh, this is him. Or is this the cat? I can't even tell. They're at the same place. I think the friendly roots like to root work and maybe even fix things. Okay, I talked to the cat instead of the carrot. That's my problem. Damn it. So wrinkly. It's the faces for me, man. It's the way the mouths are so curved down and the eyes are so deep. It's a good day for good fabric and Fred. I'm at your service. Uh, okay. That's all you say? Fantastic. I'll talk to the beetle instead. Hello. Ah, her, her, her. Can't you see me? I mean, look at his eyes. They're all gray. Me, friend, can't you see me? Ah, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. No, I do not. What are you selling? <laughs> four eyes? I don't have... Uh, what are you selling? One of the very best plumbers of the entire land. Do you want to smell it? Yes, I do want to smell it. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's plumish. Who did I collect? They're not coconuts. Oh, he's a dung beetle. Of course he is. <laughs> Why do they have fabric but no clothes? It's best not to ask questions like these. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. That? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plobbers. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you, you keep your plobbers. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Um, a blacksmith, huh? Good day. I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? Why do you need iron? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. I'm going to the clockmaker. Want to give me a fetch quest? So you could do all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure. If you have some ideas, we could talk about them and... But damn! I do it. It's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. Okay. So I now know where a blacksmith is. That's useful. <laughs> Just notice the arms. They're tiny. I like them. Be very uncomfortable having those giant holes in your body, though. Oh, God, yeah, I'd probably, like, 
be doing that thing where you like constantly touch them and like make sure they're still there oh not fun not fun hello miss i think you have beautiful fruits you can't be saying that to a woman randomly Fran. you need to grow up and quit this thank you dear would you like some um mission to go home what? how is that a response to her offering me free fruit oh no i'm on a mission to go back home and i want to be hungry when i get there oh so from which part of a thirst are you are you from outside the island i'm actually a human i just look like a tree oh a human that's new well i hope you complete your mission thank you miss i certainly will see you and here's the clockmaker. but first what sort of fruits were you imagining i mean you can see her fruits they're on display she's not exactly hiding her fruit but, but fran can't be saying that out loud how dare oh to carry heavy things that's all she says okay let's talk to the clockmaker. hello what are you doing uh, working on my clock the answer the responses i'm getting in this game nowadays are becoming so much shorter i wonder if that's related to like fran's mental state deteriorating or if it's just the game not being able to word them better it's like oh we've only got a few words oh i see sir do you know where i could find the great wizard no oh, miss i do clocks i fix clocks i listen to clocks tick tock mountain cotrem can you tell me how to get into the winter time? <laughs> the mountain coaching only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. So how do I get to winter? The king said that the wizard would be in mountain coaching. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely loud reality. So what should I do, buddy? Oh, man. Very big clock and change the season. Just change them. Here is the clock. Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the floor. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. So does that mean everyone in this world sees the world in their own way, or am I going to change the seasons for absolutely everybody? seems like a good place but she wants to go home yeah i mean it's not good to like escape from reality for this long if she is comatose right now or dissociating or whatever else she needs to get back home she needs to get back in her own body reality is kind of important hello lady is there any news good day would you like to read the newspaper i can't read can you read it to me <laughs> wait what is the thirster's language called don't you know it's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am. <laughs> My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before. I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Thesta. I hope you'll have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Freaky ant lady. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, they're playing chess or some shit. She escaped from reality, that is? Yeah, you never tell. Howry. I'm watching you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's talk to the snail. He looks adorable. Hello. What are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. What the fuck does that mean, buddy? <laughs> the war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. I'm the wrong one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Why would I not come back alive? <laughs> Join you where? <laughs> the game is about to begin. You are the Kalmalis. I am the Velocus. Black and white. The shadows and lights. So we're playing chess. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Board game. That's a merciless adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win, huh? What do you say? Sure, but what are the rules? Why do I need a coin? Tic-tac-toe? Tic-tac-toe would be great. First, oh, it is tic-tac-toe. <laughs> okay, god damn it. 
supposed to play three of the same figures in a diagonal from a one to a vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? What machinery? Um, sure, let's play some tic-tac-toe. I'm good with that. The grand way of asking to play tic-tac-toe. Yeah, the whole like, oh, the war is about to begin if you come back alive. God damn. Why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Damn it. He's got the advantage. Not a bad place to place it either. But what about this shit? Okay. Okay. I see what you're playing at, funny man. Shit. Now I'm on the back foot. Nobody wins. Are you happy? You proud of yourself? That's what happens. Okay, we start again. This time it's mine. I'm going to start off. Yeah. Come at me, tree bro. Don't scare me. Okay, now I'm kind of scared. Okay, okay. Okay, clever. Clever. I like that. He's going to go here. I'm going to go here. He's going to go here. I'm going to go here. We're just going to keep doing this goddamn circle forever. Nobody's going to ever win because we're not stupid and tic-tac-toe is a dumb game. We just have to keep canceling each other out and then no one can ever win. Unless he just outplayed me. <laughs> he, fit, he came incredibly close to outplaying me. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, now it'll be my turn again. Yeah, it's just going one turn, then the other turn. Hmm. Let's try something else. Middle, middle? Corner? Yeah, let's try corner. Okay, he placed there. If I go... Here... He has to place there. But now I can go here and I win, bitch! Yeah! Suck my tree, dick! I got my gold coin. Oh, I can keep going for more coins? Nah, I'm good. One coin's enough. Let him cook? Yeah. Tried to outplay him just a little bit. <laughs> oh, well done, little creature. You are a master. Why, thank you. I am a master. Now I can buy nothing with my gold coin. <laughs> Hello, little roots. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. I'm not cute. I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song, little Zelma? Why don't you sing it for me? My favorite song goes like this. One and one or two, one and two or three. Two and three are five, and three and five are eight. I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. She's still saying it. She's still saying it. I like that. That's a cute song, though. That's a good song for remembering things. Uno, dos, tres. Que hora es? A boat ready to depart up and beyond. Whoa! <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. Are you making flying boats? That's not how you make one. That's a that's a 2D representation. Um I haven't seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh. Uh go -huh. home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with the other stannies. Huh? I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Oh, God. I clicked a thing. Damn it. My bad. Oh, my God. There we go. Well, that wasn't useful. Hello? Is anybody in there? I guess not. Maybe Kitty and I can hide in there if the monster comes back. Well, I hope he doesn't come back at all. A lot of wood. 
Maybe they'll become boats someday. That looks like a spider. Many legs crawling around my spine. Ugh. Oh my god, why would you imagine that? This must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. Wish I could fly back home with one of these. I guess I can't. I don't have any superpowers. If she just got in it and tried, you never know. Maybe they're just being racist. Maybe they're just like, oh, only the Ithistanese can use these, but they're lying. Who knows? Why did I get a gold coin? <laughs> Surely that's going to help me at some point in the future, right? I have one golden coins. <laughs> can I just sit there and farm coins forever? Oh my god. Not them being racist, Fuchan. I don't know. I haven't confirmed it yet. She wouldn't get in the boat. She wouldn't get in the boat. That's the time. Perfect. Where are you going, Mr. Mr. Midnight? Kitty, this land is very different. Do you understand the language? Yes. I actually understood what the guide told you. I hope we find the clockmaker soon so we can go to Mount Coltram. True. Here's the clock. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in Athirsta. Oh, okay, you got to move it from... Yeah, move it back a bit. That looks like winter to me. It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Do this. Oh, it sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. How does it work? I don't know. Maybe I can ask for help. Okay, so it's broken somehow. Okay, let's try going this way. He looks like he'd help. He looks like a friendly guy. That's a lever, right? Yeah, nut lever. <laughs> Neva made of nut. Oh my god. Not a currency in a game like this. Ah, it looks pretty okay. <laughs> Gold coins, nothing wrong with that. Hello. Good day, living creature. I'll get it. I feel a lot. I like that. I'm going to go with that. Good. I don't know. I feel a lot of things lately. Oh, feelings. They're beautiful. Just like this flower. <laughs> hmm. Are you waiting for someone? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. You like lemons? I mean, you make lemonade out of them. They don't have to be sour. <laughs> same, friend, same. I know, right? It's like sometimes emotions are just too much, man. They're a bit sour for my taste. But lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I'll do with the lemons. The customers of the bar, you know. Let me put some other stuff inside too. But we can fly. That's, that's definitely... <laughs> that's, that's 100% drugs. <laughs> hey, drink this lemonade, kid. You're gonna fly. That sounds great. <laughs> I would love to try that. Yeah, that's why I wait. I can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you, and bye. Okay, he didn't tell me how to use the clock. Is this the bar? Oh, I wonder what this is. Looks like a tropical party place. I hope they open it soon. Yeah, it's probably the bar. Too bad. No. No, no, that's a ghost party. You don't interrupt ghost parties. <laughs> um, let's go see what they're up to. Hey, guys. I see one of you dropped your mask and you're kind of terrified about it. Oh, wow. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. Purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the locals. Pardon me. Oh my god. We are the locals. <laughs> god damn it, that was embarrassing. So these are the locals. They're from the land of light. Oh, you're very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Velokas will receive the shield. Ombakma Pimilgro Ombakga Gran. So they call that the shield, the little mask that they wear. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed, 
Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our past life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. Why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now. And too strong to let it go. What? Oh my god, she's crying. They kind of feel like the gods of this world, but at the same time, the one talked about our path towards life. So maybe they're spirits that haven't been born yet. Maybe they turn into humans and forget like all their memories of being light spirits. Yeah, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Exactly. We have to seek the truth ourselves. Yes, kitty. You're right. Maybe akin to angels. Could be akin to angels. Or just, yeah, like spirits that haven't been born yet. Oh, this one's the arms of the Velocus. Incredible. Interesting. What do this do? It's the other arm. I think I want them all at the center. Then I'll bring that one back down. Oh, I can't push that one into the center. So maybe not. <laughs> Let's move them all away from the center then. That doesn't seem to do anything either. Can I get down there? Oh, what a huge Velocus. It's not real though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the Great Velocus has four arms. Is there anything else I can... No. Just these four things, huh? I don't get it. I'll be back. You seem important, but not for right now. This is now a mecha game? Hell yeah. Oh, they're back. Hello, Velocus. How you doing? And he's off on his own journey. Is he going to be pissed I moved his toy around? Probably, right? Oh, no, he didn't actually appear here. That's fine, then. I'm going up the mountain. Velocus Gundam? Oh, my God. Get in the mecha front. <laughs> There's nothing here but trees and flowers. Okay. If you're sure, it looks like a path. But I guess I'll go up then. Ah, uh, this is the mountain, but we're in the wrong time. This mountain hop is <laughs> this mountain top is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would probably sound very loud, like an earthquake. Because it's the top. I fucking love that. Man, you're so dumb. Maybe we can pay it to speak to us. I won't even try. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go try the left path. See if anybody knows how to deal with this tree. Hey. Oh, I'd like to borrow that boat. That's it. That's it. Ooh. Multiple moons. Okay, I can go talk to the clockmaker and the blacksmith at least. Maybe one of them will know what, what's broken about this stupid clock. Let's try the blacksmith first. He's on the way. Kind of funny how small the mountain is. Yeah, she climbs it so easy. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Oh, well, we, we've done this before. We, we've had this conversation, sir. Um, you make all this kinds of stuff? Um, can you make me the things that'll fix the other thing? That's that's why I'm here, sir. God damn it, Fran! Let's not start this conversation again. Bye-bye. 
Let's go talk to the clock baker. Hey, buddy. Your clock doesn't work. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have any. That's a lovely feeling for you, sir. The big clock on the tree. It's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my lifetime goes to waste. I have a golden coin. <laughs> but what do you mean, sir? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here you go, buddy. I already got that for you. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Be the repairman. <laughs> Would you fix it, please? <laughs> that coin must have its use. Finally, I knew it would work out. In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of... Uh, time. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. There's an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big cock and fix it. Oh, I did not expect you to have that many legs. That's rather terrifying. I I'll meet you there. You're kind of slow. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go on his little legs. Hmm. You were right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just a second. Oh, all the vegetables are root. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you guys see those ghosts in the winter time? <laughs> Hmm, yes. Hmm, oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immortal. Break oh, it's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock? Ugh. How would somebody break it? Malus, winter, mountain cold frame, the stones. Many reasons, miss. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand. Malus, the evil darkness, they work for Remor, the terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land, the only evil we have allowed. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones, but what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Yeah, I am. I'm leading him to the stones, huh? This is a problem. Game style reminds me of James and the Giant Peach. I feel that. The creatures look very similar to that storybook style. Oh, what I was going to say a minute ago before I got interrupted by ghosts. <laughs> like all of these creatures, like the carrots and everything, like the trees, they're all like root vegetables as well. So they're all things that would be like hiding underground, rooted in place. They're not things that like grow off trees. Rather, they're things that grow down, which is pretty good. But the whole like being in a comatose state, being rooted, pretty good. Is Remo a giant black monster with a goat mask? A... Uh, a dead goat mask? Yes. Do you know him? Yes. I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. On my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! Uh -huh. This is why you need to go to winter time and go to mountain coat ram. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the great wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that'll make it easy for you. Here. Oh, sweet. It's a remote control for the clock. Yay! I have my own version of the pills now. Screw pills. I have like a remote control time movie thing. Uh. That sounded better in my head. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. Well, it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're far away. Remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. <laughs> clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. I will not. I will continue to call you clockmaker guy. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. To winter, baby. Oh. Huh. Autumn looks fine. 
No more ghosts. That's good. There's a lot of footprints, though. Let's go. Oh, God, he's dead. The bug man is dead. How are you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave you to your own devices. I'm going to go up the mountain first. Oh, good. The light spirit's still here. <gasps> the cave is open. No. First I go up. I don't feel like that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, kitty. Did you see that? Did you? It was a beautiful creature that had been set on fire and <laughs> flying through the air. Yes, my dear. I saw it. What was it? Oh, I... I think it's the shadows. Oh, dear. I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. I'll go home very soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise? That whatever happens... You and I will always be on the same side. Oh, that feels like a flag being raised right there. Of course, my dear. I promise. Great. Now we have to keep on going. And punch this rock mountain face in the face. No, Fran. No, 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 no. Talk to the mountain. I see the face. Here, let's wake it up. I can't do that. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, things not working makes me angry. Yeah, he's he's not waking up, huh? The mountain hop is very high because it's the top. Fantastic. I, I, Fran. Okay, I'm going to go back down the mountain. What the hell? Maybe I just have to change time, actually. Let's try that first. Springtime mountain. Nope. Summertime mountain. Autumn time mountain. Nope. <laughs> Fine, I give up. I'm going into the mountain. Screw you, sir. Angry. Rock beats scissors and knife beats everything. Why, hello there. This is creepy as shit. You do look like a magic man, though. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? I thought the wizard was the mountain itself. Now I feel like an idiot. I need your help. Sorry, sir. I'm Fran. Is this the mountain coach, Ram? Can you talk at all? You have too many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me you could help me. What the king says, we do. I'd like to borrow the stones and open a door to my world. The stones are missing, I... I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. Every time they seek, I hide. Do you mean the demons? I'll help you find them. Yeah, maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does a rabbit do it? <laughs> well... I've seen some very informative nature videos about how the rabbits how the rabbits do it. They do it like rabbits. I saw it once. A human did it. Oh, the rabbit came from an empty hat. He just wants to know the most basic wizard skill. Are you fucking kidding me? How? <laughs> Choked on my own spit. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, there is no nothing. I wonder again. Oh <laughs> my god, he's a freaking idiot. Oh god. Maybe ask the person who did it. Oh, I have a visitor. <laughs> Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? Oh, lovely. He's senile as fuck. That means me, just so you know. The, the, the king sent me. Um, are we really doing this again? The stones. Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for them. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. 
You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas. They try to steal them all the time, so I have to be sure. They're in the hat, aren't they? <laughs> How much do you want to bet they're just in the fucking hat? <laughs> but sir, I need the stones. This is not my home. Hmm. The stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I'll be able to tell you where to find five items. This is the biggest fetch quest of all time. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. Tell me the riddles, old man. God damn it. Let me show you. Drink of my concoction. Nope, okay. He's doing magic. Oh, it's a pentagram. That's a five riddles right there. This is the star of a thirster. Um Cobber, the greatest god of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. That's great. What are the riddles, old man? Why are you doing this to me? Looks like a giant from Jura's Mask. Maybe that's why I just imagined them having those kinds of voices, because they always do the... And a sound as well. I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. There's the items on the Star of the Thirst are on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. Thank you very much, Sir Wizard. I don't think he's a wizard anymore. <laughs> oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me you could make me a human again. Did he? Hmm. I think that's true. But I barely remember how to do it, though. Okay, you don't remember? Are you good? I uh, understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can make you human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes. Incredible and great! Let's try to figure out the riddles. And I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become human? Hmm, I think the smell is very important, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So, bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes! Uh, explain the riddles? Wait, no, don't explain. No, okay, I get it, I get it. Go, 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 go stop. End this conversation. Now, the rabbit science is waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, you continue your rabbit science, sir. I believe in you. The Wongi? Yeah, he just wants to sniff my clothes. Not sure how I feel about that, but that's fine. Why are there human skulls on the shelf? Don't worry about it. He's a wizard. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm not the only one who hears that in the wrong way, am I? <laughs> I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile I'll get you. Okay, so that's a lemon. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Fish are cold-blooded. They want to fish. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of the birds and the pen of men. A feather. I know everything except for the first one, which just sounds dirty. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Burning hard. Cold as I am. A match? Hmm. The first riddle sounds like Fulgrovid. How oh, dare. I'm gonna go get a lemon. Not perceiving the sus part. I do not perceive. Fair enough. You are stronger than I. Okay, let's turn it to spring. Well, summertime probably, right? Hey, you wanna give me one of them lemons? Hey, I'm taking one of them lemons. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you just take them. 
I take all the lemons that the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. But what if I take one anyway, you bitch? How, how dare? I recognize this kind of tree. Aunt Grace had one at home. It's a lemon tree. They're very delicate. Aunt Grace's tree got very sad in winter time. Oh. Okay. I'll steal them from your bar then. Fuck you. You're going to let me in too, big guy. I turned the time for him. I gave him these lemons. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? How do I get one? I don't have one. What? All of Thurston's citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? I'm not a citizen. I'm a human. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady, I can't let you in. All right, sir, I understand. But what can I do then? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you, sir. Check, check there. Check, check behind this. Okay, or don't. Can I break my way in? God, I just want lemons. Why is it so hard to give me lemons? I get down there. Oh, what a huge velocus. No, I can't. Cat, can you do anything? You're not helping me, cat. You're not helping me. I, I don't get... I... Um... Autumn. Winter. Oh, it's empty in winter. It's like completely destroyed in winter. It's boarded up in spring. Open in summer. And autumn. The guard told me that I need... The music is so... Okay, okay. I can't just like... Just go into the building in winter, Fran. This is so logical, Fran. It's so easy. Just stand there and then press the button. Fine. What about you? Do you change during the seasons? Hmm. I don't really see anything useful. Okay, maybe I want to fish. Maybe we'll get a fish first. Oh, hello. Oh. <gasps> Wait, why did you look evil and dragony? Launchus? Sir? Oh, he's been wrecked. Oh, I got a feather, though. Wait, don't go. Oh, no, he looked really bad, kitty. Isn't that the doctor? Maybe he... Oh. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he could cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Why did he have a black feather? He... This isn't Polontras's feather. Polontras is pink, right? Unless he's been lying to us. Well, we got one item. What's this glowy crystal? The very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Okay, who cares? Well. This is frozen now. Covered in snow and ice. I can't sail with this one. Hey, I could sail with this one. Oh, look, kitty, get in the boat. We're going for a ride. <laughs> I stole his boat. Dumbass. Maybe he has attack mode? Maybe. Or maybe he's not what he appears. Maybe he's a demon and he's fucking around. Hmm. Reminds me of how. Reminds me more than how of what's his name. Um, I forget his name from Spirited Away. Haku? Haku. Oh, wow. That island is very tiny. Ooh, this is fun. I'm glad she's having a good time. I wonder if somebody could live there. I guess tiny creatures. Like almost invisible ones. Shall we? Hmm. Okay, not useful. Oh, we're back here to wear my clothes off. Fantastic. That's good. Aku's white though. Yeah, but he also has like the feathery moments. Or was that the crow? Maybe the crow was the enemy. Hmm. Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get your pass. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find my things. Unless someone's stolen them. Nope. Good. Good shit. Give me my clothes back. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. 
Oh, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they will appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, dear clothes. Come to your one and only wearer. I'm gonna go that way. That looks cool. Oh, that must be the castle. Oh. Looks like a pineapple from here. I wonder if it tastes like one too. I had no idea that was supposed to be the castle. <laughs> but fair enough. What if I take the crystal? Can you fix this? I'll just leave it there. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> oh my god. That's the castle? I know, it didn't look like it, huh? Hmm. Let's try going here then, changing the time. Wait, can I steal his fishing rod? I would certainly love to steal his fishing rod. <laughs> oh, a fishing rod. It seems to be broken. That's okay. I know a blacksmith. Wait, now if I go back and change the time, is he not going to be able to fish? Nah, he's got a spare. Well, he's lucky for now then. This is a fishing game after all. Every game's a fishing game if you try hard enough. <gasps> ah, look, a Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Mommy, dearest. Mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter. Come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy. I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. What? Oh, you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. Oh. Well, not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> you are not mommy. No, that didn't feel like mommy to me. That was, sh that was good shit, though. That was a nice little scary moment. Okay. There's still fish in the water. This will be perfect. Let's just ignore that. All right. Oh, I still got tree hands. That's creepy. I forgot I had tree hands. Let's go to the blacksmith. See if we could fix my fishing rod. The AA was cracked. I'm glad you liked it. I enjoy shit like that. Especially when they have random capitalizations to really freak you out. <laughs> what are you molding this piece of iron for? I'm going to skip through this. How about you tell the clockmaker to shut the hell up? Can you make me a fishing lure? Hmm. Maybe I should show him the item. What if I... Hey, buddy. Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Ah, oh, you just said the exact same thing someone else did back in the hospital. Oh, yeah, the nurse. When I broke the... Oh, too bad I used that hook. I can't get that hook back. Really? Who? What hospital? Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse when I broke the curtain. Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're quite strange. For you, yes. Is she flirting with the blacksmith? Strange. <laughs> I'm strange for you. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? I'm picking that one. That makes no sense. Of course I'm strange. For you. I'd be very scared if I saw somebody from another world. Oh, okay, like that. That makes more sense. She's a kid. I'm well aware. This game is very strange. <laughs> but sir, can you please help me with the hook for the fishing rod? <laughs> that was just a little bit of extra flavor text. I love that. I mean, she's not wrong. I come from a different world. Of course I'd be strange. <laughs> yes, let's do it. You give me one coin, I can give you half a hook. You give me two coins, you'll get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook, I need the whole thing. 
The whole thing will cost you three coins. Wait. What? One coin for half a hook and two for the working one. Why wouldn't it just be two then? Sir, you are complicated. I'll bring your coin soon. Bye. I think I just got ripped off. But okay, it's time to chess. <laughs> We've only got one coin. We don't have any coins anymore. We traded our coin. We've got to play ch uh, not chess. Tic-tac-toe three more times. Okay, let's do this. Come on, snail man. Hello, then. Would you like to play once more? Yes. Three times, please. It was so much fun. Okay. He's going to go there. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go up here. He's going to go here. That was unexpected. F fuck. Then he's going to go here. No, that makes sense. He blocks me. Then I'm going to go here. And he has to go here. And I have to go here. No, I win. Aha. 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 I don't know how that worked. My turn to go first. Bottom right. Top middle. Top middle. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. I like that. Bottom left. That's a problem. No, it's not. You shit fuck. I win. This has gotten a lot easier. I'm cracked. Okay. His turn. There. There. Yep. 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 That's better than last time. You've become more intelligent. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, we're just fucked. Nobody wins today. Okay, my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're good? You think you're great? You think you're amazing? Why would you do that? Yeah, Baba. I win. Eh? Oh, I got three coins. <laughs> I'm outie. Thank you, sir. Very well done, little creature. You're a master. Yeah, I've been told that a few times. A master. I like that. I like the sound of that at all. That was a lot. Okay, sir. I have many coins for you. You already saw this. He wanted three co Okay, I'll give him the coins. Jeez. Here are your three coins, sir. Wonderful. Thank you. And here's your hook. I hope it works fine. I love the fact that he already made the hook, too. He was just like, she'll be back. She'll be back. Ayo, Fu-chan? What was the Ayo? What did I buy, Hooms? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thank you, sir. It's perfect. I have to go now. Bye-bye. Okay. Combine. Combine fishing hook with broken fish rod. I need something that... Fuck. You know what? Maybe I can tie it with the, <laughs> the knife. Um... Well, you know where I haven't been yet? The library. The library opens in autumn. Let's go see the library. Hmm. Where was it? There we go. Hello, creepy boat. Stop right there. Do you have the password? What password? You didn't tell me about the password. Library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. Who knows the password? Yes, the great wizard. Of course it's the great wizard. He knows everything. No, he doesn't. He's forgotten everything. God damn it. I'll see if I can find the password then. Bye. Okay. We, we travel again. Back to the great wizard. I have a feather for him anyway. What did I need to get the lemon? I need some way to find my identity card. Niji Sanji? Of course it's Niji Sanji. <laughs> That's always the password. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it'll work this time. The basket seems to be in good shape. That's good. As if it weren't, it couldn't carry stuff. Oh, I gotta damage the basket. Okay, let's knife the basket. Kitty, I'm gonna do something. So act natural. <laughs> I'm gonna make it so his basket can't carry lemons. That's genius. Oh shit, her face. <gasps> act natural, Mr. Midnight. Don't give me away, you son of You wanna be next? You wanna be next, Mr. Midnight? I wish you a better fucking yeah. Oh, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. Okay. <laughs> Fool. 
Oh, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. There we go. I've already got two items. Oh, and accidentally dropped lemon. Perfect. Perfect. A shiny, juicy lemon. Oh, I've got two items for the spell now. That's good. That's good. That's a start. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, yeah. God damn it. How dare. To winter. To the wall. Till the snow falls off the walls. Okay. Got two items for you. Um. Which one's which? Um. Examine. Okay. We're shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Okay, that's line and dot. And line and three dots is the lemon. Line and dot. Line and dot. And line and three dots is the lemon. I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? Fucking. Line and dot is the lemon. Line and three dots is the feather. Right. Line and dot is the lemon. Yeah, okay. There we go. Look at my little tree hands. I'm so adorable. Okay, sir, I got you two of your items. You said I only needed one to become a human. I've been lied to. I've been lied to. <laughs> I need all of the items first. Now the rabbit science is waiting for me. Yeah, but about... No. I need to ask about the library password. Fine, I guess I need to do this first. I need to go catch a fish. I need some sort of wire. This hair looks exactly like the flying insect's hair. I guess they got very stuck, so they had to cut it. That means they're not stuck anymore. Can I, like, cut some hair down? That won't work, huh? Spicy stuff. <laughs> yeah, true. I wonder what's in those bottles. Maybe chocolate sauce or milk. Maybe other things like poison. Yeah, don't drink them. Oh, they have a human skull and a demon skull. Fantastic. Maybe that human never found the way back home. See human skull. Hello, I'm not the only human here. <laughs> yeah, they did not find their way back home. An abacus. I need to solve mathematical stuff. What if you want to count to more than 100? I guess you have to own more than one abacus. <laughs> or you use the different colored things to represent different things. Stuff to do magic with, I guess, but it's not being used. Maybe I can take it. What a lovely rabbit. He did a good job. I'll try to do my own when I get back home. I wonder if the wizard sewed it. Well, you know what? Sometimes you've got to unsew things. I can't do that. <laughs> Wuss. Wuss. Two big empty bottles. That's what they are. You, you aren't wrong. Hello, Mr. Clothes Hanger. You have no clothes on you. What if I change time in here? Oh, now I'm trapped inside with you. Have anything different to say this season? Do, 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 do. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, no, it doesn't change much in here. Boop. Bada boop. Wow, oh, you just stay in here all year, huh? I'm proud of you. You keep doing your work. Nice try anyway. It's something. It's something. Okay, let's explore a little bit. In the dead of winter, so that's always fun. There's no fish because the river is frozen. Where the blacksmith would be. Wow, everyone hibernates. Aha, thread. I'm going to need more coins, aren't I? Good, thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Can I buy some thread to make a fishing rod? It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I'm at your service. Um, if I show him the rod, will that help? Hello, miss. Yeah, I'm wondering if you have some thread for fishing line. Fishing line thread. Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? Aha, yes, please. How much is it? Oh, quite a lot. Is that good? I mean, no, oh, she means she has quite a lot of thread. I was so confused. Oh, I meant price wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about a price. You see, I've never sold anything before. You know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. I didn't even need coins. This is a terrible business sense. But thank you very much. I hope you settle on some prices and sell something soon. Bye. You fucking idiot. Just absolute idiot. 
I got what I wanted. I didn't have to do anything for it. And now I've got a fishing rod. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, do I need a worm? Oh, no, we got a fish. Oh, look at her face. She's so happy. Oh, I caught a fish. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's okay. We need it. What was the final? The final one I still don't get. I'm cold as I am. But if you use me, I'd be burning hard. Burning hard. It's just matches. I already have matches. I've been tricked. It's just matches. Free stuff for free. I know, right? You wanted another fetch quest? I mean, I didn't, but I expected one. I most certainly expected one. Bum, 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 bum. Weep, beep, beep, beep. Wop, 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 wop. Okay. We got the fish. Which number was the fish? Cold as I am, so number one is the match. Two dots is the fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. Matches, 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 matches. There you go, little tiny match. I hope this is right. It's glowing. That's a good start. I sh wait. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. It was the hard bit that threw me off. They didn't have to say burning hard. I mean, <laughs> technically that does work, but man, <laughs> threw me off of the matches. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes, we'll start with the fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now it's burning, baby. Coach from us awakened. Coltrum is alive. On the top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Ah, oh, your hat. <laughs> yes. The stones are hiding in my wizard tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. <laughs> but now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Coltrum. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do the other things. All right, sir, I'll bring your hat. I, I don't trust him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He seems like his heart's in the right place. I feel like I'm going to come back and he's going to be murdered. I'm going to take this hat, sir. Oh, he angry. He not like that. Ah! Who dares to wake me up? Who? Oh my goodness, you're alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. Mine is Coltrum. Do you want to know why? I guess so. I mean, really, I just want the hat, but sure. Coltram means born in heaven. I used to be a star. Oh my god, it's Asta. Who <laughs> knew? The rock reel? <gasps> Is that Dwayne Johnson? No way. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh, wow. I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Fran. So, what brings you here? A great wizard told me to get the hat. So if you don't mind... Hmm... I can't do that. I'm divorced. I don't need to know your life story. How does a star get divorced? And why do I give a fuck? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. We'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me there's no other way. Please help me. I told you. I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma could erupt, 
I'd kill everyone, including you. Okay. I mean, the hat's just kind of floating there. It's not stopping the magma. So you're a lying piece of shit who's just using me to get your wife back. And frankly, Asta, I don't need to be in the middle of a divorce. Where is your wife now? She... She decided it was time for her to start her own island. So... She broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. I'm sorry to hear that, you whiny bitch. Where is she? <laughs> I think she's on the water. Otherwise, I would very strongly feel her presence. But I don't. <laughs> my love. My beloved wife. I'll go see if I can find her, all right. Then you can give me the hat. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what could happen. He sounds like an abusive husband. I'm not sure I want to bring her back. She's doing perfectly fine. She's created her own tiny little island for tiny little people. <laughs> Can't I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something instead. No. I like this hat. All right, I'll be right back. Stupid piece of shit rock. Hey, can we go find his... Oh! That's a lot of very smiley children from the orphanage. I know you are all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. But I am suddenly feeling very peckish, madam. Hmm. Go, Fran. Go. Drink to your heart's content. Fran, who are you talking to? Huh? The woman standing... Uh... It's nothing, kitty. Oh, good. Even the cat can't see these horrific visions I'm having. That's fantastic. Fulgrovid, no. Fulgrovid, yes. Can't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> I can live it as I want to. Now it's time to go swimming. Which <laughs> I <Did> not know. <laughs> Why does everything happen on water? I don't know. I mean, supposedly evil spirits can't cross water. That's in a lot of legends. So maybe it's something to do with that. There's his tiny little wife. It's just a part of himself, honestly. We don't judge too much information. <laughs> True. Hello? Miss, wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger. Very good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger of love. Love? Oh, you're not pink. Should I be pink? I used to have human skin, though. It's almost pink. What does the messenger of love have something to share? Yeah, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No. He made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. You know what? That's true. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you left that. But what did he do? Maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? Maybe you can settle. <laughs> Friend really be here like I'm in. Sure, he maybe, like, abused you or something. Oh. He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. But lately he was cold and boring, so I left, felt left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. <laughs> you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so I want some credit for that. That's all. I'm going to be honest here. Pretty sure I said winter, Fu-chan? I'm pretty sure I didn't read your comment. I don't know what you're talking about, for one thing. For another thing, if you were trying to backseat me, I would be ignoring it anyway and possibly block you. So, there you go. Number two. Let's make a sexual joke about this. 
like first it was like damn she's a bit shallow with the whole he used to be hot now he's not i was like damn that's kind of fucked up then we instead got to the whole he used to grow me a flower now he doesn't that's definitely a joke about like you know him not being able to perform he just can't grow that flower like he used to he used to be able to grow her a flower all the damn time man she just wants some credit that's fine i'm gonna go find the flower for you which has bad connotations now that i've put it the other way <laughs> but miss if i find that flower for you would you come back i guess but i have no hope besides i'm the ruler of my own island now true you're doing fine by yourself but the world though i need to go home so you need to be on his head go sit on your husband he needs that do you know where it grows always at the bottom it's very different from all the other flowers <laughs> the bottom of what please be the bottom of the mountain <laughs> my husband's bottom of course <laughs> bring it to me and i shall return to him <laughs> I, I legitimately have to go get... Yeah, Fran's face right now, that look of utter like, oh, I'm about to see some shit. I, I have to go to the husband's bottom and find his red flower. Oh, the things I do to get back my human body. Okay. Bottom of the mountain, here I come. This is it. This is technically the bottom of the mountain. I need a red flower. This is it. It's just not blooming yet. This flower is blooming very slowly. Okay. Hey, there it is. This must be the flower that I need. I can't take it with my hands. It has powerful thorns. Okay. You want me to cut it down? Hey. The red flower. I cut it off of him. <laughs> Yay. Who said pegging metaphor? Red rocket. Oh my god, guys. No, it's, it's just a flower. I, I cut off the flower. Now I'm going to give it to her. And she's going to be like, oh, you cut it off of him. Let's fucking go. That's good revenge. You know what? Now I will go back to him. <laughs> and that's why she has to sit on his face. Because he doesn't have no flower no more. <laughs> God fucking. Oh, let's go see the wife. Oh, um, I got you a flower. Uh, trees love flowers, don't they? ba bum ba boom ba -bing. Okay, you just castrated him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Here you go, lady. I got you a flower. Use mountain flower with tiny mountain. Miss, I found it. Look, look. The red flower. Oh, thank you so much. It looks so beautiful. You're indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. I, I did not expect, and she's gone. And I've drowned her. Um, I drowned her. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. She'll get there by winter at least. Everything's gonna be okay gonna be on top of his head and the world's gonna be brilliant again yeah there she is hey what do you think very nice to see you two together now i'd like to have the hat please thank you so much i'll never forget what you've done for us come on my darling you get on top let's not wait for the child to leave let, wait for the child to leave. Why do I have to assist in this? The blush is kind of cute, though. The blush is kind of cute. <laughs> and here's the hat. Thank you again. No, thank you. I learned a lot today about red flowers. About <laughs> things I really shouldn't know. She's keeping his magma sealed. She's making sure it doesn't leak out by itself. No, no, no. She's taking the magma from inside. No, no, no. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. I'm out. I'm out. I got a hat for you, wizard. Wizard, I got a hat. Her bottom is very filled. Yep, yep, yep. Her bottom overfloweth. Here you go, sir. Have a hat. 
Did you find the hat? It should be on top of Coltrum. Yeah, I had to do some shit for this hat. I hope you're happy. Oh my god. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat! I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. Now, how about you turn me into a fucking human before I have to kill a bitch? I have a knife. I have been sent on too many fetch quests. I have been weirdly talked to by way too many creepy creatures. The gift from the soil, the fruit. Yeah, that's the lemon. Okay. A creation of selective random elements so we can eat. Beautiful, isn't that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's incredible. Do it, Foo. Oh, I might. I might. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, my book of knowledge, it's in the library, but beware. The book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. Good sir, I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you'll need to get inside. Let me think. Think. It must be something about how we learn or... Ah, I remember! The password is... Their basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. What? <laughs> Surely you can't learn anything if you don't have any of your senses. Why does that sound like a threat? What does it mean? I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. And it'll make you free to cherish every second of your life. Okay, that I get. You don't shut down all your senses. <laughs> you just you just listen with clarity. You make sure you understand things. Don't just take someone's word being like, this is the thing. I won't explain why. No, you have to use your own common sense. That's true. You have to think about things. Find multiple proof things. I don't know if I'm even talking proper English. He gives good advice when he isn't senile. He still said it in a stupid way. <laughs> I think it's very fun to think and learn. But being curious helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. Sure. Don't be a sheep. But we are sheep. <laughs> yeah, but you can think like a human. <laughs> you guys are beyond sheep. I've said that many times. You guys just look like sheep. These guys look like trees and root vegetables and bugs. Doesn't mean they don't have brains in their heads. Oh, hey. Oh, it's the twins. The twins are back. Do you remember, friend? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. <laughs> do as I say. Do as I do, friend. Jump. Oh my god. I... I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. My crazy kitty. Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. Love you too, my dear. We must keep on going now. Let's go to the library. Shit, man. He's just straight up telling her to kill herself now. She still feels responsible for the death of the twins as well, even though she didn't do that. They made it very clear the twins were already dead. They were lost spirits at that point. If anything, she was defending herself from them. Man, poor Fran. Shit's building up for her. Stop right there. Do you have the password? Yes, I do. 
Yes, all right. What is the password? Let me remember the word. Oh, fuck. I needed to actually remember it. It was something like, Your eyes and ears are limited senses. Shut them down before learning. Hmm. Bird. Why is that? Because then we can see. <laughs> if you let me in, I'll know. That's true. I don't know, sir. But maybe if you let me in, I can understand what it means. Knowledge is everywhere. Even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're going to learn our knowledge. Okay. I need a special book that hides. That's a lot of bugs. What are you guys up to? Hello, sir. What are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for my special book. Why are you on a ladder? You have wings. Oh, because the ladder is made to be used, of course. What if I need it? And you should wait your turn. <laughs> That's fair. Um, if it's an emergency? I can't wait that much. And you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. That's, that's, you know what? That's fair. That giggle of yours is menacing. Good. <laughs> Love how you give most of them seahorse voices. It's just a very, like, child, like, child-friendly voice. And these guys all have that kind of face where they wouldn't be talking proper human. I know this guy is cute little. <laughs> Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think letters look scary. You want to read something else? Yeah, then you'd have pictures instead of words. Oh, yes. It's some other day, dear. I <laughs> hope you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Have fun with your scary letters. I like this red shiny thing. Did nothing. Hehe. <laughs> Pushing won't work, dear. Try to unlock it instead. How do I unlock it? Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> the one with the button's right next to you. You know, the itward lock. Why have I heard itward before? Itward, 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 itward. Shit, I know that name. It's a name, right? Yeah, that does sound familiar. Of course it sounds familiar. It's itward we're talking about. He's quite a creature. Can you believe he made that lock just for fun? Is that the name of the guy with the diary? The twins. It word in the hospital. Oh. The word scribbled in the asylum. Right, 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 right. It word, it word. Wasn't it also the doctor who did the twins? From the pre previous stream? Yeah, the man that did it to the twins. Yeah, okay. It was Dr. Itward who performed that procedure. Yeah, okay. Now we remember. Thank you. Oh, shit, he's in this world somewhere then. That's terrifying. <laughs> For fun. Well, I'm going to try to open the lock then. You go ahead. Ask me if you need anything. Okay. Oh, it's the secret language of numbers. I don't like that. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20, 30, 40. Got ya. 20? The 30? Oh, 40. That's kind of logical. Is that going to help me open this thing? Hello. Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? Oh, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. Mine's more special, you pathetic little... One, one. 21. 1-1. One, one, 21. Don't know the rest of these. Shit. Um. Okay. My first scenario. Keep changing seasons. It didn't help. Well, fuck. This is grand. It must be a thirst in numbers. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and so on. I just have to remember them. But they didn't tell me what the actual password number is. I T W A R D. I T W A R. No. Shit. Can I pull these out? So this is one. There are two ones. What is that number? It's 21. I remember that. Do I have to make 21? Okay, so we've got two. We need 19. We need 19 throughout all the other numbers. That's two. That's three. That's four. 
And E is five. E with a line is six, seven. And then it gets weird. And it gets real weird. Okay. Okay. But a 20. It is the 21, right? Yeah, it's definitely a 21. But two. We need 19. Okay. Okay. So, this is a three. If I rotate this. <laughs> shit. Um, this is a three. This is a two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going seven. But that's a four. Seven plus four is 11. We need 10 in two numbers. That's a 10. Shit. What if I just... There, it's 21. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, this is something. What is that? An e with two dots on it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not eight. That's eight. That's eight. So we need that plus a two. Oh, this is just... This is less. Just an E. That's... Five. So if we had... Two, oh, wait. Yeah, five. If we had two E's, that'd be perfect. But we don't. Shit. So I need to change some of these out in some way. But there's nothing smaller. Shit. Hmm. Maybe I just have to put them in order. Three, four, five. And the next biggest one would be this one. Shit. Oh, wait, do they come in pairs? They kind of look... No. I'm imagining that. I'm imagining the pairing system. Oh, shit. We take one out. Yeah. And one, two. You can't remove the two ones or the 21. Two, three, four, five. Those are all in line. I wonder if they had an E with a dot. Oh, man. This one is difficult. Yeah, there's probably a better explanation somewhere. I probably have to talk to the old man. You've seen, Kitty. There are many books in here. Indeed, my darling. I see them all around. Uh, any of you got a password? I see so many books. I don't think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. The wizard said the book may be hiding. Ah, just more of the same. Damn it. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, let's try talking to the king. The king's gone. Right. Bum, ba bum, bum. He's gone too. Oh, my poor buddy. He got attacked. Which I mean, what happened to the king in that case with that guy being attacked? Hard to remember, I'm frozen. The strawberries? Oh, if only I could eat the strawberries, that'd be great. Okay. Go see the wizard real quick. King has gone on vacation and probably been murdered. Will probably never be back. But that's okay. We have to go to winter to see this man. Perhaps you know the secret. You're supposed to know everything, right? Did you find the book already? You have to look in the library. Well, that was worth a long run. <laughs> what about this thing? These are numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh. Plus, minus, times, divide, square root, circle. Plus, minus, multiplication, and other things. There must be some mathematical stuff. I don't understand, but I recognize some of the symbols. Useful. Not useful. Abacus? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. That can't be it. Abacus made to solve mathematical stuff. Well, shit. I give up. Hmm. I can't figure it out. When I give it another go, then I'll ask for help. But do not backseat just yet. What else could there have been that would give me, like, numbers and stuff? I don't really think anything. 
Never been. Oh shit, the sea is still wet at least. That didn't freeze over. Huh. Rain doesn't work today. What are puzzles? 69, 420. I, mm, try this. Maybe this will have some numbers on it. Nope. <laughs> it's the tree symbol, but I don't know anything else. Which is fair. Wow, this is a bit scary. It almost feels like I could fly. Wish I could bring mommy and daddy here. Do you know the secret of the numbers? Nope, can't even talk to him anymore. Wait, can I just spin it? Oh, this level won't roll. I have to open the lock first. What if I add the 10 instead? Then it adds up to 21, right? 1, 2, plus 2, 4, plus 3, 7. Fuck. Um, uh, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, that's 21 with the 10. Adds up to 21. Shit. I don't get it. 1, 1, 2. Oh, oh, someone said something like that e earlier. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Um... 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3? 3 plus 1? Or 3 plus 2? 1 plus 1 equals 2. There's a 2 there. And then is it 1 and 2 equals 3? And then 2 and 3 equals 5. And then three and five equals eight. Eight would be the E with two dots. And then is it one plus one equals two? Two plus two. Yeah, one plus one is three. Three plus. So the next one, fuck my brain. One plus one equals two. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So next is 5 plus 8. 5 plus 8, which is 13. 13. Oh, yo, let's go. Okay. Okay. I did it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that blew my mind. Oh, God. We didn't even have to cheat. Let's go. Um... I have to be in a different season. Oh, hello, Mr. Creepy Man. I've seen you before. You've been terrifying. I'm gonna take the book if that's okay. That must be the... Oh. That must be the wizard's book. I can't reach it. How typical. There's always something to climb on. Yep, yep. Just slide that on over. It's staring right at me. Lovely. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I need the book. <laughs> oh. One, two, three, four, five. Cute little root peoples. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Mm. Bone hand, time, seed. Mm hmm. Eyes with an upside down pentagram. Oh, the twins attached by the head. Giant tree. Seed. Pregnancy. Art. Damage to the back of the brain. Spinal column and skull on a pentagram upside down. That's an electronic thing. That means resistor. That means battery. Um, pelvis. Okay, okay. Okay. A baby that grows out of the earth turns into a skeleton. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Perfectly makes sense. And the skeletons all honor the king of darkness. I don't know what the fuck's going on. The monster. Okay, let's let's listen to Franbo's thoughts throughout this. Oh, this looks interesting. I can't read the text though. I recognize the four seasons and the creatures. Okay. I guess the great wizard likes to draw. Oh, I wish I could understand. 
Mania says that it's good to look at the trees. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. What is this? I've never saw a skeleton having a baby. Seems that the baby will be born with a big head. <laughs> big headed persons are nice, just like me. Did I come out of a skeleton? <laughs> this one looks like a cycle of some kind. I wonder what it means. Years, maybe? I like to think that there are five of me, so maybe that's it. What? Why do you like to think that there are five of you? The monster. It seems people love him. Why would people love an evil monster? Maybe they're scared. Pfft. Fear makes us do such stupid things. Okay. This is a strange book. Oh, five realities. Ah, so it could be the five forms of her in the different worlds. That would make sense. One second, I gotta blow my noose. I wonder if Mr. Midnight's her from a different reality then. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of there. I don't like that guy. I'm gonna go see the great wizard. Who said animorphs? <laughs> Animorphing into his skeleton. Yo, that's badass. Other people just turn into animals. Franbo will be like, yo, hold my beer. Kitty looks so unbothered. Yeah, the cat's dealing with his own shit right now. He ain't got time for Frambo's stuff anymore. Oh, he's just scratching at the ground. Genius cat. This is why I love cats. They're so useful. Why a skeleton? Well, we've all got skeletons inside of us. Technically, we can all animorph into a skeleton given enough time. Oh, yeah, I've got to, like, give him the... Uh, here you go, buddy. Sir, here's your book. It was inside the musical box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the it word lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. It would look as a skeleton. We saw the skeleton a lot when it had to do with the twins. So I guess the skeleton has something to do with it would. Interesting. Did he just say why suddenly you love cats? Yeah, I love cats. They're so useless. It's fantastic. <laughs> Certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Fish, fish, we're free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. Into the earth. Oh, good. He gave it water. And it's gone. Oh, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? Especially since it should be dead. He really can bring things back from the dead. My cat was watching the stream and you made her sad. Why? <laughs> I'm useless too. It's good to be useless. <laughs> That's a magical, sir. Could you do that with other beings? Like humans? Say my mom and dad? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. The circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm, so we need to find the missing stones, guys. The fish told me that the shoe, my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. You know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. They said something about the amazing dancer showing up in like, oh, it's at the lemon place. I think I know. I'll go and see. But I don't know how to get into the juice bar. I can never get into the juice. I don't have a citizen thing. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I don't have the ticket to go inside the bar. Don't you have your ticket? That's odd. May I borrow your ticket? My ticket is mine. I can't lend it, you son of a bitch. Then you get down the mountain, you lazy old man. Oh, I can't. I'm making rabbit science and I'm pretty close to the answer. Besides, I know you can do it. You've completed some very difficult tasks already. <sighs> All right, yeah. I'll go do it myself. That's good. Uh, uh, fine. Let's go down the mountain. Here's where it should be. That's where it is. Let me in, you son of a bitch. Let me in. God told me that I need a ticket. But what if I instead kill the god? <laughs> Nothing lives through the winter. Only me. Only Franbo. Has to be something with this, right? We haven't done anything with this yet. Oh, his eyes lit up for a second. Oh, his eyes always light up when he's moving. Upward arrow. Oh, what a huge velocity. 
Hmm. Bottom left. Right. Where do I want the arrow pointing? Down? I give up. This is stupid. Okay. I need to find a way to get into the bar. How doth one get into bar? Perhaps if I talk to him. Hello again. Oh, hello again. Did you find your special ticket yet? The show's about to begin. No, I didn't. God damn it. Sir, do you have a ticket? I can't even talk to you. You're too busy. That's fine. That's fine. Where uh, can I find a ticket? Hmm. What a fish from there. I haven't talked to Sir Poop Man in a while. Hello. Ah, sure, sir. Sure. Ah, uh, forget it. You don't sound useful. Goodbye. Hmm. Need a ticket. Need a ticket. News person. They can probably make a ticket. They work with paper. That makes sense to me. There goes friend the tourist. Have fun. Oh, no, that's not useful. What if I stab the little ant? <laughs> well, can I just use the exterminator thing? Is that going to be like a ha ha ha? You don't give me what I want and I... Or do I need to bribe him with money? Hello, Zelma. Repeat your song. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I already did that. Thank you for the song. It was useful. Let's play a little. Let's let's get one gold coin. We DIY a ticket. Oh, maybe I can just draw on the back of that thing. I'm going to do this too anyway. I'm going to get one more coin. I'm going to see if I can bribe my way in. Okay, you're going first. Come at me. Scrub, you don't scare me. We're going to go up there. I'm going to go down here. Yep, it's the only logical move. And you're going to go down here. I'm going to go up there. And nobody wins. I hope you're proud of yourself. Next round, let's go. My turn to go. F oh, he doubled up his turn. How dare. That was a stupid move, sir. Oh, no, you double win now, unless I do this. Yeah, logical, logical. And he still double wins. Shit, what happens when I lose? Do I give him a coin? I don't have a coin. Nah, it's fine. It's just a repeat. It's him again. Fine. Come at me. You don't scare me. Logical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he won again. Make it my turn, you bastard. Oh, God. He's just too good. He's just too powerful. Fuck! He's won again. <laughs> Why can't I win anymore? <laughs> Let me go first, you son of... Really? You know what? Fuck you. I'm just going to counter everything you do. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, now nobody wins. Are you proud of yourself? Give me a turn. Okay. There we go. There we go. Sweet bliss. I win. Give me a coin. We out. Faster than a snail. That's why tic-tac-toe is stupid. It's just whoever goes first wins, man. Because no more coins. So AI went, yeah, that would be mean. It was just like, no, you don't get a turn anymore. Okay, let's also try forging a ticket. What if we combine with the crayon and draw it on the back? I could draw a flying boat. Or paper swells. Nah, maybe later. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's try bribing him. <laughs> uh, I've got a bribe for you. You want, you want money? You want money, sir? Please. No. Um, <laughs> That's not the correct response. Shit. Um, what if I try combining them now? Maybe I had to be here first. No, she's still being stupid. Um, this, this is my identity card. I won't even try that. Fuck. Um, the king doesn't exist. I'm, I'm going to go see the old man. The old man normally tells me. Maybe forge it another way? It could be. I just don't know which way. I don't know who would know about, like, making fake papers, essentially. Hey, old man. 
that's uh, I don't have the ticket to go inside. That's odd. Is this what we already said? Can't get inside. The dancer must be in there. You'll have to find out what to do. I can't tell you. Useless. Let's talk to the mountain. Let's talk to the mountain. Ton. Let's talk to the mountain. Ton. Hello, sir. Mountain top is very. Um. Huh. He no live no more. Well, that's fun. <laughs> He's just a dead mountain now. How the fuck? There has to be something here. So does it have to do with the tree? No. Stand. I don't understand. Oh, what a huge relucus. I wonder what they use it for. God damn it. I didn't try that the entire time. Come on, kitty, go inside. And remember, I need a ticket to get in too. So maybe you could take someone else's? I don't want to steal. Just borrow it, kitty. We can give it back later, all right? Um, all right. You know what? Yeah, no, that's fair. This is definitely the time for this. This is well earned. Okay, kitty, get on in there and get me a ticket. Or maybe break some shit. I don't know. It's a face on the wall. Congratulations, cat. You are a genius. Kitty gameplay segment, unfortunately. It's amazing. A self-playing piano. You gonna do anything about it? I guess not. Okay, maybe you want to come over this way. Kitty, you're useless. Let's try a different time. Oh, that's way better. Okay. This guy's got a ticket right under his drink. It's your ticket can't take it right now it's being used maybe make him go away hello lady can i borrow your ticket please because my ticket disappeared oh i can't i'm using it as a coaster oh this lemonade is very good uh, but why do you have a table to put the glass on eh, i don't like the sound of the glass against the table i see you like this lemonade very much right Yes, I drink it because it's refreshing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to listen to the music. Oh, of course. Goodbye. I'm going to ruin the music for you. Fuck you. I'm going to kill these ants. Oh, that's scary. Giant fleas. No, thank you. Okay. Drunk with lemonade? It do seem like it. Why is that one inside the piano? Ah, oh, maybe I can get a lemonade. I can bribe her with lemonade. It's the bartender. He's working. This ladybug is the tiniest I've seen around besides the flies. That's mean. A moth. I used to eat those, but I won't this time. Yeah, good luck trying. That's a face on the wall. It took him a while to react to that. I clicked that a bunch. That's the dancer. That's the dun 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 Audience is waiting for the action. Is that what we're going to say for all of them? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Now the dancer's doing the dancing. Oh, she fell over. The dancer's moves are from another world. She drank too much lemonade. <laughs> I guess that is a ticket. I should take it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She drank for an entire season and then passed out. I have the ticket. I have it. You're incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Yeah, bitch. Let me examine this first. <laughs> that looks so dumb. Oh, that's the ticket to the party. Kitty stole it. Kitty's a thieving little... Oh my god, it is Alvin Yan. <laughs> Oh, that's the ticket to the party. The ticket looks like there's a exterminator card. So why couldn't I just use the exterminator card? Wait, does that mean the exterminator came from this world? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's use it. Look, sir. It seems that a ticket found a way to get into my hands. 
What? Let me see it. Mm. This can't be right. It just can't. I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. Huh? How can you know it's somebody else's? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. It belongs to someone much older than you. I could see it. But can I get in anyway? <laughs> Maybe. When you have your own ticket, little lady, you're more than welcome. Okay, maybe now I can forge my own ticket. Yeah, okay. Ticket. Fran and Kitty can go in. Party! Yay! <laughs> That's so fucking cute. I wanted to do that 10 minutes ago! Son of a... Okay. Okay. Here you go. Here's my one. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Hmm. Oh, I see. You simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. I'm no clown. I'm a genius. I was just two steps ahead. Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Swing it, swing it. Yo, you know I love that proboscis. And now, kick, kick, kick. Yeah. Oh, he did it shorter that time. He felt sorry for you? Pretty much. Hello. Oh, hello. You came. How nice. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much. But I need the shoes of the dancer and I don't know how to get them. Oh, uh -huh. so you like to dance. He's a very good dancer. I've never seen him fall. Hmm, so he's like the very best dancer of the world? The world. I would say the universe. He always follows the rhythm. I see. Well, thank you. I have to go. Bye. I'm gonna have to fuck with the piano, huh? I'm gonna have to make the piano go super fast so he hurts himself. Oh, a Veloka's mask. This one looks very old. Well, that's what it is. I didn't even notice that. Okay, a plan forms. Shit. <laughs> Okay, that that changed things a bit. But now I can fuck with it, right? I wanted to be there while no one else was there, but I forgot about winter. Oh, the self-playing piano has a door down there. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Let me do it. Let me fuck with it. Hello. Hello. Would you like an autograph? Um, no. You're, in, you're a giant flea. Well, what's the trumpeter doing, sir? Oh, he's fixing the piano. The rhythm must be perfect so we can start the show. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. How do I distract him? Sometimes things just don't work. And sometimes you've got to stab somebody. What if I give him some money? It can't be done. Fuck. Okay. Fogan, no. <laughs> There's no one during spring. Yeah, but I get kicked out at winter and I can't get back in. Unless I use the cat, I guess. So I do this and then boom kicked outside but I guess I could send the cat in I can go inside with my kitty now kitty is tired of being illegal yeah I can't like get in here during the spring oh I wonder what this is it looks like a yeah so unfortunately <laughs> that's what I was hoping for to be inside there with no one else around um hmm, maybe Let's talk to her. She doesn't have a ticket anymore. Hello, miss. Are you having a great time? Are you seeing my ticket? Um, I think I... Mm, I have to go. Yeah, let's give her a ticket. Here's your ticket, miss. I'm sorry, but I took it and I wanted to give it back. Oh, goodness. You are very nice. Thank you very much. The kind thief. I got nothing from that. Maybe I have to advance to here so that they're away from the thing. Oh, I won't bother them now. I can wait until they stop playing. If they ever stop. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Hello, sir. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He's concentrating, I think. Ugh. Okay. Let's just talk to everyone. I've never seen such a huge moth. I won't bother it. Oh, a lady drinking lemonade all by herself. Maybe she's expecting somebody. Or maybe not. Anyway, I hope she's fine. She's just having a good night, Fran. Don't worry. People are allowed to drink by themselves. 
Oh, I have to do something to trick the dancer. Oh, I heard a creature here talking about layered realities, time and such. Rhythm and seasons are important in this land. Everything is connected. I see. So I have to think that all time and space matters. And rhythm, of course. What? I wonder what kind of insect he is. Must be something we haven't yet discovered or something. Uh, it just looks like a beetle. I, I don't want to talk to him. Looks like she's imagining things. I won't bother her. Hello, sir. Hello. Um, bye. <laughs> Fran is so awkward. God damn it. <laughs> Throw some tomatoes at him. I mean, that would be fun. You're not wrong. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Um, you know Mr. Antonio? The greatest? Of course, he was a huge trumpeteer a few years ago. My mother loved his music. <gasps> I saw him. He's not doing great. <laughs> really? Wow, the human world. But you know, when we grow old, we all go to visit other realities to see if we've missed something. Humans don't do that. Oh, that's why he was there in my reality. We humans don't do that, I think. Oh, it's quite fun. I love to get letters from my mother. She tells me many things. <laughs> yes, it does sound fun. I have to keep going. Have a nice day. If only I had my drugs. My drugs would help me through this problem. <laughs> then I know about other realities. I wonder if these kinds of insects are in my garden. If I go home, I'll make a little house for all the insects. I never thought they actually have a life. That's cute. No more smashing insects for me, anyways. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Let's try springtime. Maybe it is when they're in the thing. Oh, the self-playing piano has a door down there. Kitty won't go in when nobody's around. I can't do anything now. Uh, what the fuck? Mr. Midnight, help me. Help me. Oh, I have to do something to trick the dancer. I heard a creature here talking about layered realities. Rhythm and seasons are important in this land. I have to think that all time and space matters. And rhythm, of course. Time and space, rhythm. Time and space, rhythm. I don't get it. I'm trying to talk to the beetle. Go inside. Okay, we can't talk to the beetle anymore. Hmm. Let's try. What if you send kitty only? Didn't seem to be able to do that anymore. He doesn't want to go in. Is it possible for you directly to go to summer? Yeah. Summer didn't like... Well, technically, yeah, we were just in summer. This is autumn. I want to talk to the old man first. Surely he'll know some ideas. Can you skip a season on the clock? Oh, like that. Nah. Unfortunately, just clicking it, like, you can't choose which season. Anywhere you click it, it just sends you to the same place. So then one season forward. You can't get past winter. Have you found the shoes on the dancer yet? No. God damn it, old man. I mean, I found the shoes. Maybe talk to the dancer. I tried a few times. Oh, shit. Did I even try to talk to him before he started his performance? I'm a fucking idiot. Let's, let's try that. That might be intelligent. Hello, dancer mister. I really need to take your shoes. And why is this? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer. And I need them to uh, dance with the wizard. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? I want your shoes. You want one? A little lemonade? You seem to be a little tense. I don't want lemonade. Stop trying to give alcohol to a little girl. Hmm. You should drink a little lemonade. At least to drown your thirst. The great wizard needs your shoes, sir. He needs to dance, bruh. Oh, but well, that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me. And as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. Lift your feet, bitch. Come on, give them to me. Give me them grippers. Hmm, it can't be done. Only the very day when both my feet are up in the air. Only then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. Oof, I see. Well, thank you, bye. Piece of crap, I'm gonna kill him. 
are we really starting this again i have to go by okay are we sure we can't fuck with the piano now god damn it hello hello would you like an autograph no what's the trumpeteer doing he's fixing the piano the rhythm must be perfect oh, i see thank you <sighs> so angry oh i won't bother them now no of course i won't except that's what we need to do fran cat get the fuck in there no kitty stop being a little bitch go inside We'll figure it out. Let's go to the bar to see if the show has already begun. Get in the fucking hole. Oh my god. Knife time? I wish it was knife time. And skip the season? I promise you I cannot. Look. This is me. I'll move up so you can see it. Anywhere I click on this thing, it just goes one season. I click and hold, it still does nothing. One season at a time. When he lifts his feet as he dances. Hmm. I think I have to do something to the piano to make him fall. He said when both of his feet came off the ground. Hello, sir. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? It's concentrating, I think. Yeah, I bet. Hmm. Maybe I need to put something in the piano while they're trying to fix it. Maybe it's an item thing. Item diff. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> the matches seem really usable. Oh, I wish I could use the matches or the knife. Either one would work. Um, can you go to the previous season? No, I cannot. Try to knife the trumpet here. Oh shit, she's moving. She's moving. I won't even try that. Okay, that's fair. What about my? Cl what did I get my clothes for? Just friends' clothes. We could jam them. Nope. Um. You could use a coin. Throw it in there. <sighs> God damn it. Still got my crayon. I've got my book. I've got matches. Can't be done. <laughs> of course it can't be done. What if I bribe the actual flea band? Even if it works, I wouldn't know. Son of them. Okay. You can officially sack beat me. I'm gone. I'm gone. Tell me. This is pissing me off. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Arson is the answer. Is there only one interactable on the piano? Yeah, I was clicking it all around. Click to the door, I clicked to the top. You, you can't interact with it anywhere. Metronome on top. I see no metronome on top. If you mean like this thing, you can't click it. Time to use knife. Clicking fast, it skips. Sack beaters. Job. Change seasons while you're in the bar. I've done that many times. Boop. Oh, I won't bother them now. Yeah, you still can't interact with the piano in a different season. They ever stop. Do, 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 do. Click faster. Sure. Click faster. All of the speed. Everything. Speed. Multiple clicking. Nothing's happening. Hey, sir. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me? Please. He's concentrating, I think. Arg! Speed clicking does nothing. <laughs> Maybe you have to get the arrow from the puppet. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in the spring it's necessary to get an axe. Eh? And then click faster to change seasons. Oh. That's a thing you can do! Okay, thank you. That's a new an entirely new thing to do well that's fantastic <laughs> thank you chat <laughs> god damn it that's blue congratulations fran blue mm, red yellow there we go no that's perfect I don't know how it works, but that's super speed. That'll do. That'll make him fall on his ass. We can double change seasons now. Go nuts. And down go his feet. Give me damn shoes. God. 
If they had told me you could notice, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys told me so many times. You, sh you should be able to advance the thing. That's my bad. Okay, we got the shoes. That's all that matters. No more sack beating. Now we've got the shoes for the wizard. You're really telling me you don't know color combinations? Yes. Yes, I am. I don't know shit that's complicated like that. Here you go, bud. A trial and error work, so who cares? <laughs> sir, sir, I have the shoes. A very pretty look. Wow, you did it. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. I am a cyborg. And I do have chat on my back. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. And hopefully you make me a human, right? I mean, that was part of the plan. Been a tree for a while. Last one. Air. Hmm. I recognize this fellow. It belongs to Palantris. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm. He will be fine. He has the pink water. I can fix anything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? <laughs> Go visit the old Velakis mechanical doll. My wand will be there. Oh, I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Okay, sir, I'll go fetch your wand. God fucking damn it. Another fetch quest after everything else. Oh, there's the wand. Yes, I would like that wand. I see. So moving the hands is going to let me transfer it from hand to hand. I, I got you. You take it. You take it. There we go. Now. Oh! Now I know what that is. That sound. That's a new donation sound. It must have just... It must have changed itself. Okay. Now it makes sense. <laughs> What's with the piano? Um, I've been messing around with my alert system. It must be the new alert sound. I need to, like, change that. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we got it up here. Now we take down here. My wand. Okay, this is great. This is the last task. Now I can go home. Can't wait to see a ghost waiting for me somewhere, because they always do. Such a happy sound. Yes. Very happy sound, which will not exist for very much longer. <laughs> I thought it was from the lemon bar. I thought it was from something else earlier. I have no idea. That was unexpected. Give the wizard wand to the great wizard. Here's your wand, Sir Wizard. Ow! Oh, magnificent! Splendid! You did great! Really? Where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones! The stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door. But you... You're the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, and we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Wait, I suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this for hundreds of years. Let's make a human, girls. Give me your clothing. I need to... <laughs> Sniff it. Hmm. Let me smell this. <sighs> this can work. We will make you a human. Oh, this is so exciting. And also very creepy. <laughs> Samurai, you're too late. I'm already done. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Thirsta. Okay. Make me a human again. And think about your body, your hand, your leg, and the other leg, and your arm. Both of them. Now concentrate. It looks like I'm on fire. I'm not a fan of that. But we're alive. We will jump the wizard. He'll never see it coming. And then I can be the wizard. Let's go. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true essence. Become friends, a human, now! Oh my fucking god! We got Edward Elric! 
Oh no, Edward's mother. Oh, we've got an arm and a leg. We've got clothes coming out of us. We've got my face attached to my tree arm. Okay, I'm back. That was disturbing. I thought I was a homunculus for a moment. Huh. Are you all right? Uh, oh God. It's terrifying. I need to turn that shit off whenever I can. What happened? Is it done? At least I'm back to a human now. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yeah, that's my name. Red Wizard. Because of the greatness. Hmm. I think we have to go to the king now so he can show me the door. Yes, I... I'll be right there. I have to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. Okay. Trisha Alric moment. True. True. That's the Alric I meant. The painful one. Who's to bet where the ghosts are going to be now? I bet the throne room. They've been pretty much everywhere else. I think the throne room will be good. Is it from Streamlabs? Yes, it is. <laughs> the Streamlabs notification is super loud right now. I knew... Ooh. That's what you look like, King of the Dead? Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you... Are you Mr. Midnight alone? It actually looks like a grown-up version of Fran. Is your head playing with you? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. I'm Mr. Midnight Go now! We will kill the traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty's not a traitor. He promised to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did. He promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now, let's get rid of this traitor. What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. <laughs> Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. Man, now she's seeing a cat being murdered too. Jesus. Oh, the red sand. I think you'll find it's red milk. Bran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. <laughs> the doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That's very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. Yes, kitty. I do love you very, very much. Bran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now, let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes. Yes, let's do this. Oh, she's happy again. Good shit. Personally, I wouldn't trust any of the tree people either. But I'm glad she does, and she trusts her cat too. Even though cats are the most lying of creatures. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? You could just stay here forever. Disassociating as a vegetable in a coma. I'm sure, sir. All right. Here we go. The human must leave. 
Open the sacred door into her reality! Let the human return home! Oh wow, we're going home, kitty! Ooh. I like the pentagon on it. <laughs> I sense a resentment for cats, but choose to ignore it. Good plan. <laughs> the air the king today to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange. Oh, that keeps jump scaring me. <laughs> it will be strange to be far away from you all. Why is it so loud? <laughs> Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velakas, and she's not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, Wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? No, what the Velakas told you. About facing your truth. Ah, oh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones! Create the lock that only the human can break. Hi. Door looks like a trap. I like the door. I'm worried about other things. <laughs> this is fine. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Knife it. Cut it open. This won't work, huh? <laughs> I mean, it could have worked, though. It do look like the Infinity Stones. I'm worried about the truth. Yeah, I'm worried it's going to find out that she's actually dead already. And that's what we're really doing here. We're going through, like, the stages of grief or something. And it's going to be like, well, now you can move on and, like, go to other forms of life you can travel the five realms you're not just trapped in your human body maybe that's it um oh oh we need to make a pentagram oh got it got it I mean, we are the ghost thing. We could be the ghost thing, but we're just not ready yet. We haven't fully crossed over yet. That's what I think they might be saying. I smell victory again. You did it, friend. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palantras gave me this for you. Oh, sweet. A box with so many puzzles on it. Oh, dear God. Thank you. Tell Palantras that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway. Oh, he's doing the best. I'll tell him. And don't worry. Palantras is better now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you'll go through the secret woods. Or through a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They are quite slow. You're telling me this now? That sounds very scary. Don't worry. You'll do fine. <laughs> I hope so. Since he only just warned me right before I go through the fucking gate. Terrifying. <laughs> well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Bye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you very much. Bye bye. Into the portal they go. I guess that's the end of chapter three. Knife time? <laughs> Maybe. They're definitely going to. Oh, are we doing this again? Uh, uh, Fran, Fran, jump. Okay. I have to click to jump. And I'm dead. Okay, not that early. <laughs> well, this is fine. Aw. Good. Yet. So yeah. Uh, this is cute. That thing's kind of terrifying, though. Not very happy with that. Wee. Wee. I barely made that one. 
Oh, and that one. I like her hair, though. The monster has nice hair. Giant grasshopper legs. Pretty cool. We. <laughs> oh, God. It's so tough to make that one. Through the little door, friend. A troll run. Ah, oh, so it was a troll. Watch your grippers. I watched them. Chapter 4, part 1. My imaginary friend. Part 1. The hell? It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Hello? My goodness, the door opened. Wow. Interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Oh, I thought Mr. Midnight was going to be gone. I'm glad you're still here. Oh, Fran. I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirster? Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. I kind of want to... You can go right. How? What's this? Oh, somebody's trying... <laughs> Are these my pills? But where are they going? Someone's trying to make me chase my pills through the woods. That's great. Why can I jump down the hole? See, I was wondering if my body would be down there. This is very odd. When we fell into a thirster, there was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door into a thirster is underwater. Or maybe you died hate to tell you, but... I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Probably a while. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. My pills! Don't move. Oh, you want to show me the way back home? No. Somebody's guiding you. Home? I guess home is in that direction. But maybe it's not for me. The sign looks too old. But it has to be. Besides, if it's not, it will lead me somewhere anyway. Yeah, it'll lead me to somebody else's home. That's going to be fun. Mmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. The regular berries there, not fire berries. What? Fran, are you okay? <laughs> Pills on the way home? Yeah. Pills are always a fun time. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little house on. How lovely. Maybe that's the home they meet. Maybe they just mean I should make a tree home. Yeah, you get them, cat. Quick. You suck, Mr. Midnight. And that's about what was expected. Oh, no. I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad Fran. Bad Fran. Oh, what should I do now, Kitty? We're trapped forever and ever. Um, you want to, like, knife your way down? I'm going to knife my way down. There we go. That's a horrific looking image. Oh my god. <laughs> At least I have my knife. Oh, hello, Mr. Itwap. Fran, you're already here. Wait, no. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you till 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Oh, huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? Yeah, you're the one who turned them into one being, which is terrifying. No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories while you were a little baby. 
I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. So she imagined him, but then he became real. That's terrifying. Guys, please don't thirst after the creepy dude. Who are you guys thirsting after a skeleton? I mean, uh, you know what? There's enough Rule 34 out there of fucking... Oh, what's his face? Sans Undertale, so... Ugh. No king shaming. You guys do what you want to do. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm, all right. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you yet. <laughs> the way he's just immediately... She's just immediately like... I mean... I don't trust you. But you don't seem bad. So sure, I'll follow you to the house that is saying is home. Oh my god. Didn't expect it would like this. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to give him like a silly jester kind of vibe. He's got a big, very smiley face. He's our imaginary friend. Yeah, we dreamed him up. But he already existed. But because we dreamed him up, he exists even more. <laughs> well, that's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Oh, the long leg. Oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> this way, friend. Yeah, he's kind of giving me it vibes, which is why I'm giving him like the jester showman kind of voice. Hey, big guy. That's an interesting home you got there. It looks like a dang and romper trap. Behold! The it word flying machine! What do you think? Can it fly? I mean, it's called a flying machine. Or does it just murder me? <laughs> He's a silly little skeleton. Yeah, he looks friendly. <laughs> yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, it'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing on the endless limits of the second reality, but you are part of the third reality. You understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. I mean, right? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I understand. You're a bit, you know. I mean, the, the, the fucking machine is making the noise for me. You're a bit. Come on. Anytime now. Cuckoo. There we go. Took a while, but still. <laughs> but sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You could help by getting water and fire berries, all right? Um, all right. Better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Thank you. Why does it look like a watering can rather than a bucket? Weren't you thirsting after a dead lady earlier? You're not wrong. Um, you're fair. Fair. <laughs> oh, and the fire berries. Who realized which berries to pick up because of the fire? All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Oh, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. 
Oh, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes. About that, I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. Just like I'm gonna stabby stabby you later. I feel it. I feel it coming. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Okay, enjoy your creepy machine. I'm gonna find my fire berries. Oh, that's a dead Fran being licked by a creepy tentacle monster and eaten by another creepy shadow monster. Well, what are these? Ah, oh, so much hair and... Quit that shit! I swear to God! We're getting donation jump scares now! Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a magical world of hair. So much hair and so shiny. Oh, are those the cute, uh, uh, cute creatures trapped up there? Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? I mean, we've seen a lot of dead friends so far. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. <laughs> You're the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Oh my god. Well, at least she's having a good time imagining her dead body. Oh, that's a big old. Ah, so much hair and so shiny. I don't see any fire berries. Do -do -do. Oh, those are fire berries. Hello, giant evil dead moose. Oh my god. Get out. Get out. You are trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry. You seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, shit. Okay, that was unexpected. Talking bovine? Nope, nope, nope. It's a little deadly worm. It eats the nutrients of the land and gives them back to the dirt. That's fair. That's fair. We need that. We need that. We need bottom feeders. Down here, creature. Wait, now I have to go, like, way, way up to, like, um... <laughs> Down here, creature. Can't you see me? <laughs> Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, where did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire belly... bellies? Berries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes. I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. I'm on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Oh, she did a little curtsy as well. Let's hope he doesn't decide to bite me. Okay, I'm up here. Maybe I can put the fire berries into the bucket work if I had water inside the bucket. I can't take the fire berries. They're on fire. What happens if I take the pills now? Oh, now I'm just up the tree. I'll just pull them off of my hands. They're firmly attached. You got defeated by berries? Okay, Fran. That's kind of pathetic. Back down we go. 
bum, 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 bum. I just joined Tuscaru voice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, he's the giant evil head. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met you before. I helped you before. Quite possible that you have once again <laughs> gotten trapped in the same place. Ah, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck again? <laughs> Be honest now. Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's look at the water down below, I guess. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Can I reach the water? No, I can't reach the water from here. Okay. What about from here? Oh, no, I can't reach the water. I never examined this either. Wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be opened at all. Okay, not useful. Uh, I think I'm going to need to steal your hair, old ladies. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this. But I need hair. Trying out a good thing. It's not okay. Okay. We don't steal their hair, probably. Wow, oh, so much hair and so shiny. You're absolutely sure. I'm not sure what to do with this, damn it. But I mean, maybe if I can't see them. Damn it. <laughs> I need something to hang the bucket down with. This is another way. Down to the water. But I can't see one. Hey, peoples. <laughs> You're not stuck. Now leave us alone. We're trying to grow our hair and make it beautiful. Well, good for you. Um... Maybe I can burn them. <laughs> I won't even try. <sighs> Mysterious. That one didn't even say we got a donation. What the hell? Um, oh, there's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. Moonlight shine. It's very romantic. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe the magic door is underwater. Hmm. Well... Perhaps we'll go talk to the Skeleman. Moon. Hello, Mr. Skeleman. Romantic? True. Yeah, Moonlight's always romantic. Wow, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Oh, wonderful. You can sing, birdie bird. I guess you'll get to fly when we depart. Okay. Did you find the fireberries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. No, not yet, sir. I, I need something to dip the water into. Oh, God. I feel like an idiot again. Hello? I think I hear something. Um, do you want to light that up for him? Negative. Okay. Hmm, delicious berries. Can I cut it down here? This won't work, huh? Hmm. I'm very confused. I need to get water. I need to get fire berries. Can I talk to Mr. Worm? <laughs> get out, scavengers. You gonna visit me when I die? Deadly Worm, sir. Will you come to visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom time is left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. <laughs> I love him. He's like, oh, you'll die soon. Don't you worry. I'm going to climb again, okay? Go ahead. Thank you, deadly worm. That ominous, I know. The way he said that was great. Are we sure we can't cut them down? They're on fire. Fuck my life. Hmm. Hmm. 
Talk to the spirits. Wow, so much hair. Feel like I'm in a magical blah 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 blah. Oh, well, I don't want to go there. That sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. What? It only says hell. How does that have two destinations? Or oh, you mean home on the other world? Um. I'm not stuck now. Leave us alone. We're trying to grow hair and make it beautiful. Are you sure I can't cut down the fucking hair? It's only logical. And I can't properly talk to her. Eh? You, you want a crayon? You, you want a picture of my family? You want the book that talks about you guys? Oh, I can't even use that properly. I... Fran, you gotta climb. You gotta climb, kiddo. You gotta find your way down. Um, maybe just use the bucket. I already tried that. She said it was too far. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Hmm. I can't combine it with anything, so I don't have anything useful. Examine? Handmade bucket. It would made it it's empty. Useful, Fran. Useful. Maybe you should jump. <laughs> but maybe you should jump. Oh, it just takes us over there. Oh, man. Hmm. Maybe if I show the bucket to the spirit. Oh, can I? Hmm. For fuck's sake. It's that simple. I'm s nah. Simplest answer. I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right. We'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Ah. Oh, is it well? Ah. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Oh, shit. They can move their hair, too. You gotta give me that water back? Adam? Thank you. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? I don't understand. That doesn't even make sense. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Um, home is where the heart is? Do you mean something like that? <laughs> Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. That sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Give me my bucket. Somehow it doesn't weigh anything. It's worrying in its own way. You know what else is worrying? How stupid I am. Chat disconnected. Uh oh. Let's try to connect. Climb again, please. Go ahead. You may climb. But someday you'll fall. And then we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Let's get these berries. The fire is gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just pull them off with my hands. I'll cut them with the knife. Fireberries. Okay, I got fireberries. We're all done. Get down from here. Hope the worm doesn't try to eat me. Nope, we're good. And let's go see the creepy man. All right, he's not in this world. Clown jingle for a clown moment. How dare. Also, you reopen my chat. Why must you break at times like these? At least the stream's still working. Could be worse. There we go. Now I can see you guys. Ikaza, Ikaza. Think the worm only eats dead things? Yeah, but eventually we all die. <laughs> eventually everything dies. Returns to the earth. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. <laughs> 
You're magnificent. Thank you, just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. And a bucket of water. Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Lucifans? They are nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow. Burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you will ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Oh, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Yeah, okay. This doesn't seem evil at all. How did he get in there? He's so big. How did he just walk right in there? Lucifer's always iconic. Oh, yeah. I like that they have Lucifer in their name. That's nice. Kooky motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he's just having a good time. He's just a fun little skeleton. Oh, it's powered by bicycle. It's always fun. Pedal power for the win. At least we're not wasting any carbon. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Um, where's the third reality? Palantras told me about different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Oh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. I'm glad it goes then. I'd rather not be dead. We need a piano jump scare counter? No, we do not. If it all happened now, he'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say... Through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Question mark. I would add a question mark there. I don't see whatsoever, but you know what? You do you, buddy. I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fred, you have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, but I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. Feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be there. Okay, I've never done this before, but I, I will do my best. That makes it even more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. He said any door, right? Let me check this book for more than anything. Mr. Midnight looks so tiny and cute. He's a little boy. Footsies, cut off at the ankle. Footsies, footsies, shoesies. Peel back the foot, put it on the bottom of a shoe. Then you have a foo foot shoe. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? Yuck. They peel back the skin off the bottom of a foot and stick it on the bottom of a shoe. Why? Feet, one foot with a shoe. One foot without a shoe. <laughs> uh, it's the Atherster language again. I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the shoe sole? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing odd about it. There's a shoe. A wooden foot. It reminds me of when I was a tree. I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. It would shoes are very pretty. They are. I do like his shoes. They're very jazzy. A uh, uh, hammer. Obviously the hammer stuff. I wonder if you wanted to use the hammer for something else. But for what? Nah, I'll just leave it there. Murder. Hammer for Murder. Duct tape is always good to fix stuff. That's true. Duct tape fixes everything. <laughs> Certified shoe leather? Oh, don't put it that way. Not shoe yamitos. Hmm. I'm not interested in knowing what it is. 
Maybe some other time. Fair enough. What about this thing? I'd do anything for you. I wonder what this machine does. It does for sure many things or nothing at all. <laughs> things move and rotate. That's all I see. I know what this is. A compass. Well, this one seems to be confused. It shows north and south at the same time. A mala hunt. Yeah. Why can I only move right? I can't move left. Now I'm stuck at the far right. What the hell? Um, left click. Right click. Le left. Oh. Like that. Got ya. Okay. Fire. Fire. Yes. Burn them all. Don't get hit by that shit. There we go. Get the big boy. Oh, I can't hit the big boy. Fine. Get you someday, big boy. Pew, 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 pew. Why am I doing this? Pew, pew. I don't know. Pew, pew. But it's a fun time. Pew, pew. Oh, God. Oh, I almost moved right into that. Yeah, take out the front liners first. Get the carrot. Oh, he came so close. But not close enough. Do, 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 do. Wait. Can I actually hurt this one? Come here, you. Oh, yeah, you do kind of hurt him. Hey, winner! I got a life. Attack of the Easter egg. Oh, it's a literal Easter egg. Don't scare me, giant chicken. Boom, 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 boom. I just stay still. I feel like I'll win this eventually. I don't move fast enough to hit him continuously. Pium, 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 pium. Pium. Pium, pium, pium. Unprotected baby here from the IT work. Computer machine database has been found. It work has been shut down. Egg Easter allowed. Stop. Okay, I think we won. We got an achievement. <laughs> That's something. Let's go out the door I came in from. That'll that'll murder me. Saying you cheating, man. I'm too good, man. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Okay. Oh, it's the Robo Cat. I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, he was working for Itwork. Oh, so many passes to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are all right. They tell stuff to imagine. I misunderstand stories sometimes, and that can be of great danger. Who is a puppet show? Feels like something is missing. A key, maybe? I'll come back when I have a key. Robocat, our friend? Yeah, he helped us before. Wonder what kind of things this machine counts? It doesn't have wires. How does it work? Edward's technology is very amazing. Slap looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. That's exactly what it is. Terrifying. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. There are many things we never really need. True. Shouldn't let clutter pile up. Be more like the Marie Kondo approach. If it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hands. Many, many tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. Those are the gloves I've lost throughout time. Oh, Edward's been following me since I was a baby and collecting the gloves that I lose. Maybe this is all stuff that I've lost. Oh. Oh my god. That fucked me up. Um, I see now. They're friends. That's good. It makes me want to trust Itward. That's King's Ya. Maybe they're not friends. You, you don't know that. You've just decided that. Stalker indeed. It feels like it. The door is closed. Maybe Itward can open it later. Well, that turns the light off. Isn't that fun? Just, just use. Just use with me. I just want to see. Hey, it's a twin. Let me turn that light on. They've got my key. She's very happy. Um... Can I have the key, girls? 
Yeah, I can. I wonder what it's for. Are you? Are you here to kill it, Wood? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. I'm gonna move on. Oh. Nope. Don't like that. I prefer Skeleman, it would, to Clown Man, it would. Let's, let's keep him on Skeleman. Oh, hey, you somehow got in this room. How you doing, Luke? Right? Out he goes. That's a Beyblade. Ah, that's a huge spinning top. Guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. Chat, do you still like him? They may be into him still. He's zooming. Yeah, he's out. Les Galifons Monstrants. This Pontel El Califon. This Etel Ambali. I, I don't. Yeah, no. Um, oxygen and hydrogen. Water. Le Hu. For who? So I need a match. That much I know. Um. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. What do you have inside, little bottle? What do you have inside? What do you have inside? What do you? What do you have? What do? What do? What do you? AFM. AFM is missing. Where's AFM? I see no AFM anywhere. Blue hose ready to use. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Okay. I hear what? <laughs> That's on you. That's you mishearing things. Reality view. The light burns into you. Ultra reality view. Ooh, the pupils are dilated. Then you can see the fire around the berry. So ultra reality is every time I take a, one of them pills, huh? Oh, chemical mixture. AFM into A18. A18 down here. Down here to there. And to there. To PFR50. Okay, well, this doesn't matter until I find the AFM. Where is AFM? This hose is broken. Oh, no. Should I take it off somehow, or should I, like, rub a dub stab? Um, it won't do. What if I replace it with a blue hose? Negative. Duct tape, baby! Great, it's fixed. I should give myself a hug for being so clever. We have a machine that looks like this one at home. I threw the switch, and it did nothing. I guess if the light is red, it's not working. Maybe it needs a match. Looks like a boiler. This won't work, huh? Hmm. Rub a dub stab. <laughs> That's the best way to do things. Flex tape? Hell yeah. Shame it didn't work. Hmm. Oh, maybe the lighter goes up there. Hey. Fuck. Okay. It's a good thing I've got a lot of matches. Shit. Okay, this is all correct. That's letting gas leak out into the floor. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm, it's totally empty. Let's go back to my diagram. What goes in there? Oh, water goes in there. Okay, do I have any... I don't have any water. Oh, I do have. I've got a bucket of water. Bum, ba, bum, bum. Boop, ba, doop. I thought I got rid of that. The pump is now filled with water. Green. Okay, now it's working. But this is not working. I guess that's because I need all the parts. I need to go find AFM still. Kind of reminds me of a Bunsen burner. Hell yeah. Carrying an entire bucket. I don't have any water. I, I thought I used it. A ventilation swell. I won't touch it. I can harm myself. Good plan, Fran. I'm proud of you. Hmm, are those to drink water? They're quite small. Maybe they're for very small amounts of water. Maybe they're for very thin people. <gasps> the vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. I don't need this pencil. I already have. 
crayon. True. Okay, there's a mess. Edward doesn't know about hygiene. But he does know about mechanical things. Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. Okay. Let's go do the creepy twin thing. I haven't used that key yet, so this should be fun. This is always a good time. There you go. Let's see what happens. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, and none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry, and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It would, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night. Die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then it would came to visit for the last time. And he said... You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just... One tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Okay. So, it word was gray. It word is not black or white. He is not good or evil. He gave them a test. All the evil shit they went through in life was up to them. This is weird. It would was gay. No, gray. And they failed the test because they didn't understand the meaning of life and the purpose of life before I showed up for my missing cat. Shit. Flying machine is incredible. It can fly. That is what a flying machine do. Are you sure there's not a way further to the right? No, there's not. I'm sure the cat went out that way one time. Hmm, this is locked. Door is closed. Maybe Itwood can open it later. Hello, scary children. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there's a ladder there. I'm an idiot. That's a ladder. Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Seems that it can only be opened from outside. Oh, I can't open it from outside if I'm inside. Ah, oh, shit. What's up, Clown Itwood? Yeah, that is what clowns say. Okay, that's enough of that. Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? Sure. <laughs> Get the wood if I'm working in the fuel mix. Just follow the wall duels. It's like manual, but on the walls. <laughs> Do not like that? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that either. 
sure we can't go up here oh my god okay so i must have the afm somewhere do i hmm ah let's do what we can do middle it would maybe middle what do you mean by middle let me get my flamethrower good plan honestly okay these wires are definitely wrong that's not what we need that's what we need okay afm the a18 with a green hose pink hose goes into 2pf the blue hose goes from a18 to the bottom right try that first pink hose goes here pink hose on the spot but it's supposed to connect to there do you have inside little bottle okay the blue hose goes down here mm, this one doesn't fit here was it here eh was it here okay i don't know find out what chemical to put in the one with the pink hose um 2pf okay 2pf 2pf no into that one shit it just insta poured it that's that's not great N166 is what's supposed to be in there. What do you have inside, little bottle? Am I like... I think this should be turned on in order to work. Okay, so turn it on. Use a match. Okay. you have inside little bottle um <laughs> um well i'm heating up the n166 that's supposed to be a thing and then r15 with the yellow hose yellow hose r15 boy It's burning quite a lot. That's good. What do you have inside, little bottle? How do I get it to move? Ah, oh, fuck my life. Okay, this is how we do it. What the? F okay, okay. What else goes where? R15, 2PF. A18. A18 goes into that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all the things we need. What do you have inside, little bottle? How do I move the hoses to the right directions? As far as I know, these chemicals are all correct. Right. N166, R15, 2PF. N166, R15, 2PF. N166, R15, 2PF. That's 2PF. Uh oh. A18. So that, I must have put A18 in the wrong place. A18 goes over here. Oh no, they're just both green. Fantastic. That's confusing as shit. Ah, uh, what's this thing? Well, what I didn't use was 9JM. Where does that go? 9JM, it doesn't say. Maybe... Ah, yes, this... 
this makes sense. Can I have the eyeball? Some sort of connector. Where's the missing part? Take the eyeball, thank you. I can't take the eyeball. That's fine. Hello, miss. Mm, are those to drink water? They're quite small. Seconds? Oh. Seconds and minutes. Hours and days. Tuck. Tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Okay, I'm gonna take this hose. Looks like a green octopus hose. Fantastic. I'm gonna go back to my world now. So many eyeballs. Okay. These, I think, combine. Nope. Maybe this one? Can't do that. Okay, let's just try and connect them over here. This. Oh, um, where do we need hoses? A blue hose goes between those two. And between that one. And somehow into that. What the fuck? This one doesn't fit. I'm just going to start jamming them. Eventually it will work. It has to go somewhere. Mm, this one doesn't fit. Mm, this one doesn't fit. There we go. <laughs> It'll work out eventually. That's terrifying. Ah, oh, good job. Not the eye. How dare. Mm. Green hose. That worked for me. I've just got this connected doohickey. Where would that go? This goes up maybe here? Yeah, baby! Now they're all connected. Now do the thing. Right, I still need AFM. Let me see. Mm, AFM missing. I'm just going to say your... What have I used? 18, right? I mean, one, two, three, four. I've used four things, and I have six things. I've definitely used these two. I've used this. I don't think I've used 9JM. I still don't get it. What do you have inside, little bottle? Nobody knows! Still hasn't figured it out. What the hell? N166, R15, 2PF, A18. Okay. Maybe I have to mix the two that haven't been used there. N166, R15. N166, R15. PL33. Plus 9JM. That didn't change its color. I still don't get that either. Wait, do I have to combine them here? Not that shit. Okay, that fucked up something. What's the first one? Oh, N166. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Yo, the AFM. 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 That has M in it. That's 2PF. If I can bind them... Why did that go into that one? Fucking piece of shit. I didn't combine it with that one. A18, you son of a bitch. Eh? Why is the color staying like that now? I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Foo blind? What are you guys talking about? Hmm. There's AFM somewhere. I just can't see it. A M F. Oh, it's three of them. A F M A F M. I don't know what that does. Ah, my brain. Micronutrient then then micronutrients and fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Fireberries. Oh. Oh. Fireberries. AFM. The fireberries that aren't on fire. Into the vase. Ready. Okay. I 
think it's done. Super chemistry master Frambo. Yeah, you did it, Frambo. I certainly didn't. Oh my god. The dejected O. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm fucking up so many times recently today on just not reading things properly. Friend, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you help me to get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I just... I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking. No movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. But show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill a rabbit for him. That's fun. It sounds dead. It does sound dead. It also sounds evil as shit. This is odd. I also have a red bicycle. But it's just coincidence, of course. There are many red bicycles. Yeah, it's totally not that he stole my bicycle like he's been stealing everything. You're gonna open it. There we go. Okay, in we go. Should we be scared? Oh, yes. Uh, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? Maybe it's scared. That's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. One minute. I need to see. Well, the rabbit doesn't look any more evil. I'm gonna go for the rabbit. It's planning to commit a crime. <laughs> Tax evasion. How could you, bunny rabbit? See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There is nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> he took my cat. What? Don't go. Mr. Midnight, this is not funny. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen as soon as he reached out to touch him. God damn it. Mm, hello? Are you Edward's other head? I like the hat. Can we take the hat? We can't take the hat. Edward made a paper boat. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. A pencil. I don't need it. But I'll take the wrench. Hell yeah. Okay. Theft. Kidnapping, really. Oh, I got a carrot. Hmm. Tasty carrot. I don't need more carrots. I already have one. Oh, why did you scare Edward? Anyway, you're very cute. Shall I give you a rabbit, Mr. Bunny? Even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. What a lovely little tree. You. We are kicking the skeleton's ass. <laughs> yeah. We're doing better than him, at least. We're pretty incredible. The red light is on. Maybe something's broken. Maybe there's no power to make it work. Oh, what should I do? Thank the crank. Wow, a mechanical arm. Are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. Number two. Oh, yeah, deaths. Now we know that's pronounced as deaths. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nuts and bolts. Crack it open. It looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. You wanna. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. I got you. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Okay. Now we're working. This looks like a small ventilation swell. This needs a battery. Something's missing here. Looks like the machine needs some energy to work. Cables that connect with each other. Well, you know what? I know all about the energizer battery. Shove it in. Fuck. Okay. That, the carrot does not even power it. Um. 
Burn it. Burning is the solution to all of life's problems. <laughs> well, that's new. Hello, sir. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is hungry or angry or both. I'm going to give him a carrot. Bitches love carrots. A carrot for the big, big robot rabbit. Sure. Five. E. Shake. Okay, so we've got a two and a five. Juice will howl. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. Can I get another carrot? Why, oh, yes, I can. Eight. E. Often. Left. Oh, okay, so they're giving me a code for something. Nine. End of the left. There's got to be one over here. Ah. Also eight. Otten. Okay. Look. I'll probably count it. Probably clockwise. So probably eight right. Eight right. Eight left. Nine left. There has to be another right. Is it the one behind the rabbit? Let me write this down. <laughs> eight right. Eight left. Mm hmm mm hmm That's a good start. Give the rabbit a carrot. Five right. Five right. There's five left too, right? Okay. No, nine left. I'm an idiot. Nine left. I think there was one in the human realm. Bum, bum, bum. Feed the demonic cyber rabbit? Hell yeah. He seems like a friend. What about you? Oh, why did you scare Edward? He's changed clothes again. Last time he was in a tutu. Oh, now he looks like Elmo. He just changes every time. Oh, wait. Okay, good. At least the numbers don't change as well. The numbers are always the same. That's a good start. Okay, okay, can I? No, I can't spin the vent. Definitely need some source of energy. I think he likes to push buttons. Uh huh. Oh, the orange button. Oh, damn it. Blue button? Battery! Good job, button presser. So proud of you. Yes, I found a battery. Okay. Damn it in. There you go. Battery placed. And yes, it works. Looks like a small ventilation swell. Mm -hmm. We have all the power we need. Okay. Now. Um. The button made the floor rise like an elevator. Anything down there I can do? Can I press the button from here? I can't climb on the elevator if it's already up there. Huh. Um. Um. But now that will make me go up. Yay! And we didn't get murdered and crushed into the... Mommy? Daddy? Are you... Oh, they got filleted. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Okay. That's just something I've got to deal with. Oh, um, eight right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This isn't doing right, is it? <laughs> two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nah, she's only going one way with it. Four, 
Almost. <laughs> the water is not in the right place, man. You can't hit that. Water symbol, I guess, is connected to something. Yeah, well, I can't hit the thing. Is this to make music with the wind? I don't think so. I mean, I can get a bath at least. Might be nice for me. Hello? There's nobody in there. Okay, um... I mean... It skips over where it needs to go. Fine, fuck it, I'm going down. <sighs> Try the other spigot. Wait, that was another spigot. One second. Boom, boom, boom. No, there's only one spigot. Well, that makes things easier. Wait. Yeah, it still won't point the right way. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Fucking hell. How dare. How dare. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, this is locked. Well, shit. A reset button. How practical. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe it's eight left. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking I don't have the orders of the numbers correct. Plus, there's one in the real world, isn't there? I haven't checked the one in the real world. That was perfect timing. Yeah, it was painful. Oh, the numbers in the real world are completely different. One, two, five, three. Shit. Maybe I need these ones. Um, okay, I just need to take the pills. Oh, there's a four of it. Fuck. I never even took that one down. Okay. I just don't know which order to do them in. What does it start with? Arrows are everywhere. They tell me nothing. Anyway. Yeah, that one's right. Oh, god damn. Right. Six. Say. Maybe they spell a word? Hmm. Right, six say. Right, okay. Give the man a carrot. Five, right, shank. I hate this. May not even contain what I need. Right, Otten. Uh, how many? Eight right, Otten. Say Otten Shank. Shank Otten. Shank Otten. Burden. Two. Nine left. Left nine, Enver. And finally. Left eight, Otten. Okay, now we go back to the real world and see what they say. Okay. Two, five, four, one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the order for them. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. <laughs> And I've forgotten <laughs> which one was which. Um, fuck. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Remember that order. One. Fuck my life. One was right eight. Okay, let's start this all over again. Right eight. Two was the carrot. What the fuck was the carrot? Who fucking knows? 
Yeah, yeah, you just give it to him. You got this food chant? Yeah, I figured out the code. It's just like it's gonna take a while to count it again. Right five. Wait, how do I go right eight and then right five? Oh. That's gonna be interesting. And then one, two, three was over here. Which is actually three again. Eight to the left. Left eight. Um, what was number four? Four. Oh, they still have their numbers written on them. They're just in blood now. I'm an idiot. Okay, six right. Right, six. And finally... I think this one was left nine or something. Yeah, left nine. God, I did redo it that many times that I relearned it. Okay, upstairs we go. Did you write this down? Hell yeah, I did. I ain't stupid. I mean, I am stupid. That's why I write it down to remember. <laughs> okay. Right eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, right five. One, two, three, four, five. Left eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And left nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that glitched it was like hmm this is locked hmm this is locked even as it's unlocked you know what it's fine we got in we go down oh we're back in here now what happened to my parents up here i guess they're just gone okay let me unlock this door I don't see very well. It's quite dark. Oh, okay. I don't see very well. It's... Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party. Oh, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. He lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. He wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. You were in on this, Mr. Midnight? You fucker. That's evil. Bruh, all the shit I've been through, and you're still doing this to me. All right. Thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, it would, sir. I wouldn't eat cake from him. This cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And... We have something very special for you from all the members of the ship. That means all of us naturally bored or handmade beings. <laughs> Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Why does it have cat ears? Wow. Oh, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> open it. Okay. Um, okay, it's just a Nyanko sensei. That's not so bad. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yeah, sure, why not? Give it to me. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, we're just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? Not really, bro. <laughs> I get the general idea, I guess, but I mean, I... I can see different realities. That's what I know. That's what I understand. 
I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. Uh, <laughs> that may be the ship going up or down. Or it could be the cake. Oh, no, I haven't tasted the cake yet, actually. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? How exciting. All right, here I go. We're not going home, are we? <laughs> oh no. No, no, no! And he's off. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Oh, he looks angry. Oh shit. Also, I saw you guys saying Tupa, 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 Tupa. What, what, what was the name? Jobu Tupaki, thank you. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, they put everything on a bagel, man. It's the problem. That's why Fran is stuck like this. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. I cleaned the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Do I even have any water left? A handmade bucket. It would made it. It's empty. I don't have any water. Let me go collect some. Edward's doing just fine by himself. Time to wish I was that bike again. Auri, god damn. You know what? I respect the commitment. Can't take water from the pump. The bucket doesn't fit inside. Well, shit. This is all chemicals. Anyway, let's go find this demon. Oh, I found him real easy. <laughs> hey, buddy. There you are, you bad thing. You're destroying our ship. It would said you're dirty and I have to clean you up with water. Mm, but where to get water? That is the question of the day. I'll get it out of there. Um, Sir Edward, do you have any water for me? Please, sir, I need your help. I can't help you now, Fred. I have to concentrate on fight, um, driving the machine. I don't know how to get rid of the Kamala. Water, my dear. There's plenty of water to get rid of it. Uh, there is, but I put it in the ship. I mean... I mean... Unless... Hmm, this is locked. Um... I could fill a hat with water. I'm taking a carrot with me. I know that much. Carrots are always good. Oh, right. There's a water machine upstairs. There's a water spraying machine. <laughs> Do it, baby. Mm. I feel like that works. All that. Almost. Okay, there's got to be some way to fuck this thing up. A teapot water thrower. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. Do I just have to, like, literally collect the water? I can't do that. Of course you can't. That would be too easy. A water symbol. I guess this is connected to something. Use that then. Nope. Things not working makes me angry. Me too. Let's use this. Use Itward's gifts with the valve. I'm not sure what to do with this. He said it could help me see another reality or something. Wow, it opened. Is that a keyhole? Soft and nice. It feels like Mr. Midnight had a baby. I'll cherish this forever. Edward was like a great friend. Stoll also feels handmade. That's even more beautiful. Edward didn't explain how it works. I have to find out by myself. I wonder what would happen if I find the key. Okay. Ah! Okay. I have a knife. I have a wrench. Can I use the wrench on this and make it move? It. Ah, it won't work. What if I use the wrench on that? 
No. I'm very confused. Mr. Midnight had a babu? Yeah, he did. Cute little babu. Maybe I need to find a new key. Or steal an old key. Nope, can't steal an old key. Is this going to be the same story? Yep. Okay. Um, I can have a teapot. <laughs> Slam looks like a teapot with forks. Shoes too tight. Teddy bears. Clock. Evil painting. That's King's Yard. Awesome. Ryan is fried. Oh, shit. Wait, maybe in this world. I haven't tried it in the demon world. I don't think. Oh, it's going to the exact same locations, even in the demon world. That angers me so much. Is this to make music with the wind? I don't know, but if it is, it's not working. Do I use this up here? She can't reach that. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's stupid. That's stupid. She's not that tall. We've had so many things where you had to be taller to get to things. I tried to rush over to grab the things in the right. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't feel stupid for that one. The game's stupid for that one. Get fucked. Yeah, get out of here, demon. And get rid of the dirt with water. Oh, dear God, it didn't work. Ah, don't run away. Where are you going? Um, it traveled. It didn't die. Where where did it go? Yeah, I figured. Hey, you're about to get fucked, buddy. <laughs> Later, loser. Infinite water. Oh, you dumbass. You think you can run away from me? Get fucked. Oh, he looks like no face from Spirit Away. He don't like water. My buddy. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go talk to Itwood. He does, right? The way he moved, too. Nice and creepy. Itwood, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It only took me like three times the time it should have because I'm stupid. But it worked out in the end. Oh, God. It's gone, yes. But it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please. Don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Aww. I will always take care of you, my dear. Aww. Mr. Edward actually seems to be like a nice guy. Quit that shit. <laughs> actually made me fucking choke. Oh my god. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything something. I missed that part. Baba boom. The end. But that is a very but that's a very sad ending, it would. Tell me another story, please. Alright. This is the story of Franbo and me. When she promised never to forget me. Or about the magic of everything. Mm -hmm. Promise it, Edward. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. But she did forget him. Is he angry? Expect me in your dreams, my friend. I'll always be there. <laughs> Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Interesting. This is a dark game, but it's fun. Four and a half hours? Oof. This is so much longer than I ever expected. Ah, my half of the bicycle. Oh, no, it's broken. It would. Ow. Kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear. Yes, we are alive. Yeah, the day was pretty cute. Hmm, <laughs> but Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We're outside the town, friend. I can smell it. 
Are you sure, kitty? Are we already home? Aren't you be happier about it? What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itwood is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle's empty. Anyways, let's go home. Maybe Itwood will come to me someday. Should come to you in your dreams. Also, holy shit, we actually filled the finished the entire bottle of tea, of pills. That can't be good for us. A red bicycle. Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. I need Itwood to fix it. He has lots of tools. Hmm, is it Itwood's or mine? Or are they the same thing? No more pills. That's sad. Four hours for one chapter? I did two chapters. I did three and, oh no, four part one, but still. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. In fact, I think this is where we're going to stop for the day. Well, we'll make this a three-part series. The third part shouldn't take too long. Ah, that was a good amount of time for one day. Aren't pills bad for you? I mean, not only when they let you see a demon world, which often gives us good items. <laughs> it's normally pretty good in that way. Leaving us on a cliffhanger? I mean, always in this game. <laughs> this game does not really have anything but cliffhangers. But yeah, we'll end for here today so we don't get like into the middle of this chapter and then forget everything before the next stream. This music isn't half bad. This is nice and calm for now. I do not trust it whatsoever. <laughs> Return to menu? Yes. Quit. But yeah, next time should be the final stream on that one. For realsies. Grab some music. Maybe, maybe we'll keep it dark. Yeah. Dark for now and creepy. Good stream, good stream. Thank you. Cliffhangers are the best. Only way to get people to come back. That way next week we'll finish Franbo and everything will be happy. And painful. <laughs> and painful. Both. Love Franbo so much. We finally finished a Thirsta. A Thirsta was a good time. Not gonna lie. It was so much happier than anything we'd done before. There were lots of ghosts, but not particularly bad ones. They were like chill ghosts. Happy ghosts. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to see what the fuck people have been saying on Streamlabs that was so important they needed to scare the shit out of me. And I'm also going to correct that thing which somehow made my Streamlabs sound so fucking loud. Let's fight. Also, I can't hear the normal sounds at all. Hmm. Very strange. Like, I haven't heard of Legatus in a while. There we go. Um, but I'll grab that one first. Oh, video. Yo, let's go. Oh, shit. Let me grab my comment grabber as well. Bum, 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 bum. The jump scares, they, they were pretty good, man. That's on me. That's on me for not properly fixing it before we started the stream today. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Watching you, Luther. <laughs> uh, so far. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's why I got kicked out. Somebody, uh, thanks, managers. The managers signed me out of YouTube. Sign me back in, please. No, 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 no. Come on, man. What are you... Mm. That's the one. Manager san doshite. Watashi wa haishin. Doshite. Let me see the action. God damn it. Go live. Click on that. There we go. Damn it, Apple Spider. Okay. Now I'm back logged in. Fight me, managers. Fight me. My birthday week and you're torturing me like this. Okay. Ovidia. Did I lose that? Did I really just fucking... Ah, it's okay. It's still on my app. This is fine. Everything's fine. Today is my birthday and my first super chat. Didn't know I've been watching your stream for one year. Oh, damn. That's so awesome. Your stream always sleeps with me. I really love your voice. You bring me a lot of energy. Please always be happy and do more of what you do. More of what you want to do. And I'm so nervous. What are you nervous about? You okay, Ovidia? Happy birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. 
Thank you so much for the huge Akka Super. Sorry I couldn't grab your comment. It, with the whole like having to log back in thing. <laughs> no wonder my chat crashed in the middle of the stream. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. You shouldn't be nervous at all. <laughs> That's what you were nervous about was just sending the super chat. That took a while to connect in my head, man. Franbo has taken a lot out of me today. Happy birthday, bro, me. At least you weren't continuously making mistakes all day. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thank you so much for joining us. And yo, congratulations on being here for a year. That's wild. God, it is wild to think. It's been a year and a month now. In fact, it will be a year and a month in exactly three days. But we've been here streaming and doing things. That's crazy. Thank you so much. And thank you for the gifted subs. Does my alert box just... Oh, there we go. Okay, it is working. It's just very quiet. Strange. Okay. Let me see Streamlabs now. Apple spider. Plink, plonk, plink, plonk. That's what you had to jump scare me from Luthier. Jump scare fund. From Forgoshi. Jump scare food funds. God damn it. Fight me. Fight me. They're not even actual donations and comments. They're just pain. They're just pain. Otsufu-chan. Thank you, Nia. Watching you play this game is very nostalgic. I'm fixing that now. No, no, no. We're dealing with that before we keep going on. How the fuck? Alert box. That should be um, donation. Let's get off of that music too. Let's go with a love theme. Oh God, I'm so there you go. That's gentler. That's nice. That's relaxing. Okay. Donations. Interesting. It says it's... It says it's supposed to be on Legatus Alban. Mm -hmm. I think I know what happened. But it shouldn't be doing that in this one, then. I have to pop over to this one. One second, I'll be right back. Kill that one. Oh, it's already dead. Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Um, there we go. That should fix it, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. I see who's Um, watching you playing this game is very nostalgic. Now I'm very patiently waiting for Alice Asylum. I've never heard of Alice Asylum. Is that similar? Is it by the same group? Are they all together? Either way. Thank you for donating the food funds, Nia, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'll look up Alice Asylum later. Sounds interesting. We like dark games here. Okay. Back to Streamlabs. It's still doing it! I'm gonna fight someone. Okay, I cannot currently fix it. I don't know what's going on with it. Spamming before you... Thanks, Mitsu. Spamming before you can change. Anyway, Otsu. Thank you. Oh my god. Sneku. Atsufu-chan, I have my last exam tomorrow and I've been stressed as hell, but your stream made me relax. They do play at the same time. Why do they play at the same time? I don't even have it on this. Why is it doing that? I have to shut it down somewhere. No, I've already shut it down. Um, anyway. Um, thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. Dance is away. He's got cute little dancing cow emoji too. Good luck with your exam tomorrow, Sneku. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful evening. These are the cow emoji. I love how it makes you pause every time. Because I've literally turned it off. I don't get how it's still making noise. <laughs> anyway, it, it won't for long. It won't for long. I'm, I'm doing a thing that will be finished on Sunday. We've got weird things going on between now and then. Um, Doggo Lingo. Good job, Streamlab. Streamlab, nice and creepy. It's, it's doing its job pretty well. It definitely, like, this wasn't supposed to be a horror game there. It's supposed to be a creepy, like, threatening game there, but not a horror game. <laughs> Thank you for the huge Aka Super Doggo Lingo. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Get fucked by piano jump scares. That's the thing. It shouldn't even be scary. It's just so loud compared to the normal ones. So why is my music not playing? How dare. Auri, you know, Fuchan? 
I invited a skeleton to my house for dinner and said I'd cook him a T-bone steak. He politely declined. He said he didn't have the stomach for it. I thought the joke was going to be about the T-bone, but okay, it's just <laughs> no stomach. Anyway, thanks for the stream. Thank you for donating the food funds, Auri. That's relatively terrifying in its own way. I like it, though. I like it. <laughs> God damn it. That's like a 6 out of 10. The misdirection kind of helped a lot. Joyce Lear, I'm shocked when I saw the scene about party celebration because actually my birthday is today too. What a coincidence. Atsufu chan. So many March birthdays around here. Let's go. Happy birthday, Joyce Lee. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, friend Mo got a surprise party. Damn, we should have played this in three days. March babies rise. Yeah, we're everywhere now. Phew then. Hi, Fu Chan. Today's my birthday, and I just want to say, have a great day. There's so many March birthdays. Have a great day, everybody. I see the confidants have the same birthday as me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Q Den. Oh my god, there's so many birthdays today in the confidant sheet pile. Hope you guys are doing okay. We've got a lot of birthday assets now. Um, let me link you guys to them. You can have some birthday cake. <laughs> I think they were created by. Um, oh, it was Kid Out of Kill. Yeah. Killer. There we go. There you go. Have as many birthday assets as you want. Boom. We got balloons. We got party hats. We got me eating a confidant. Me eating a slice of cake. The cake looks amazing. Black cake with red frosting interior. Mmm. F-O seems to mean Folger Ovid, but I'm going to decide it means F-off. Which works for me in a better way. <laughs> Happy bar day, everybody. How dare. Oh, the confidant. The confidant must be eaten. He's a marshmallow. It's, it's what has to happen. <laughs> Miu, thank you so much for donating the food funds with the huge akasupa. Otsu, arigato. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. Yeah, I was shocked. That four and a half. Oh, my God. Really, legitimately, four and a half hours and we only did one and a half chapters. <laughs> At least the first stream, we did three chapters in four hours. That's... Oh, wait, we did one and two. We didn't even... Yeah, we did three and four or part one today. We did two last time. We did one and a half this time. Either way, there's only like one and a half chapters left or maybe two and a half. Either way, we're going to finish it. <laughs> we're going to finish it next time, no matter what. <laughs> Miss Jerry Lawley at Fugoshi. Futsan, what a fantastic stream today. Your VA was good, especially Itward and Deadly Worm. <laughs> I love Deadly Worm. Hello, everybody. When you fall down and fall asleep and never wake up, I will be there. It'll be yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can't see us. Oh, you can't eat us? Yes, I can. I very clearly have an asset for that. And I can also do this. Let me just... That's a big bite. Let me take this to a small bite. Let me just, yeah. Ah, uh, um. mm. mm. <sighs> delicious, delicious sheep. Almost as good as haggis. Not quite. You have an asset? Yeah, I haven't put it in the thing yet, though. I'll have an asset for my actual birthday stream. Like a sin eater. True, I did eat you guys' sins before. Come on now. Father Ovid ate you guys' sins before, and it turned him into a demon. He, he did his best. He did his best. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. I, I liked doing the VA. I think it would turn out to be a good good choice. Like, I was torn between giving him, like, the <laughs> Hey, kids! kind of voice, and more of a, like, a demon, because he looked so scary. I do like the fact that it turned out he wasn't evil. As far as we can tell now, there may be a twist later on as well, but it seems like he's just testing people kind of thing. But yeah, the clown voice, I think, was a good matchup for him. Because as it turned out, yeah, he's trying to be people's friends, possibly. I skipped that stream because Catholic trauma. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I channel mine. Cataclysm. Otsufu. TY for the stream. Your voice always seems to soothe me to sleep, lol. Can't wait to watch the VOD. Although I might not always stay awake, I know there's something wonderful waiting when I wake up. Thank you for playing, Franbo. Ah, thank you so much. I'm glad people are enjoying the Franbo journey. Even though I'm not good at puzzles. That last one really genuinely didn't make sense to me, though. I swear to God. 
the whole like Fran should not be able to reach up and fill the water out of that spigot. She should have had to walk over and get the water where it was falling. But fine. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Billy Bala, Billy Bam. Asifucha. Good night. Love you 3,000. Love every bar. 4,000. One on. Aw. You guys got the 4,000. I only got the 3,000. That works for me. Perfectly fine. Damn, I haven't heard my desk make that noise while it was changing in ages. Thank you for donating the food funds, Billy Bala Billy Bam. Still love saying that name. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Maru Maru, spare the sheep, please. Never. The sheep are delicious marshmallows in the cake. They must be eaten. Somehow imagine Itward with a Bill Cipher voice. That'd probably work too. Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls, right? We gotta look out for each other? Yeah, try to defend each other. You keep giving each other gifted memberships. The sheep pile is overflowing. You can't look out for all of them. <laughs> this is my plan all along. Thank you for downloading the food funds, Maru Maru. Auri, can you eat us but not comb us? The audacity. Why would I comb you if I'm just gonna eat you? I was just gonna get covered in stomach acid and shit anyways. Hair's got to be burned away. Your muscles are got to be digested. This, this, this shit happens, man. Shit happens. <laughs> om nom nom nom. Moose good. You good at Keisuke? Did you eat the... That moose was long dead. I mean, unless I guess you're the dead Lee Worm. I love the Lee Worm, who happens to like dead things. Dead Lee Worm. Thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a good evening. <laughs> Gruesome nom nom for real. Sir, are you okay? What's wrong with you? How long have you got? Uh, that, that's a question that would take quite a while to answer, I'm not gonna lie. Fight us, bring it on, Maru Maru. Don't scare me. I don't know about this shepherd, he's a cruel one. Let's retaliate. You can certainly try. I would certainly allow you to try. I don't think it'll work, but you can do your damnedest. <laughs> Nothing bad now. No, you're good. You're good. You live for now. You may hire. <laughs> TY for the stream, Futan. I love Fambo so much. This has been super fun. Also, I may have rambled in your stream labs while you were offline again. <laughs> I apologize if you see it. Definitely gonna see it later. Thank you for turning the food funds and I hope you have a wonderful day. We're well trained in the forest. Come at me, sheep. Don't scare me. Okay. Skylar Rose, thank you for donating the food funds. Bing bong. <laughs> I mean, it was more like a... Ding, 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 ding. It was like a couple of... It wasn't just like two piano notes. Thank you for donating the food funds. Yume Haya, who just dropped a smiley face. Apple spider. Yeah, yeah. Erdzu Shaoxiang. Otsufu-chan. I really, 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 really love watching you play Frambo. And today's VA was great as always. The donation jump scare was funny too. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to fix that for tomorrow. That's going to be really... Ruining the atmosphere if we do that during Father Moro. Um, anyway. Really happy today. Um, something... One on an Fuchan. Something, something I... We translate that to make sure I get it right. Bum, bum, bum. It says... Oh, love you so much. Chao ji ai ni. Chao ji ai ni. Wan an an. Chao ji ai ni. Wan an an. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Here's your shashang. Hope you have a good evening. Throw the Borg in the river again? Uh, we're not the king right now. You can't do that. I've already won. I won that game. Uh, my child died. Alan Bink died, but Fulgrove had won. Please play Miss Little Misfortune in the future. I will eventually. I'm going to give it a while after Franmo. I don't like to play too many things like in a row like that. But yeah, that's definitely going to be another thing we play. I think before that, we're going to play... After Franbo, we're going to go with... Beyond Two Souls. Because I want to play one of the, I haven't played like a game where you just like watch a movie essentially in a while. <laughs> so yeah, I think Beyond Two Souls will be a good one. It's made by the same people that did Detroit Become Human. I think it was before Heavy Rain. It might have been after Heavy Rain. It was definitely before Detroit Become Human. So we'll see how that is. Den Den, thanks for the stream. I really liked your V8 today. So many different voices. I didn't remember well this part of this game. So it was fun seeing you play it. 
Yeah, they're getting very deep into the whole, like, trauma thing. The whole idea of, like, being in a vegetative state, but to, like, defend yourself. That whole thing of, like, you didn't... Fran didn't have to leave at the end. She could have stayed there and just been happy in that world. But the ghosts were still pecking and prodding at her. Like, the big evil was still poking. <gasps> the piano stopped. I heard Albin and no piano. Let's go. <laughs> I, I guess it finally kicked in, my changes. That's good. Anyway, <laughs> god damn it. Ah, two in a row. Let's go. Yeah, okay. It's finally back. It's just Alvin now. We're safe. We're safe from the piano. Yo. Ah, get fucked, confidants. No, I'm kidding. You guys are awesome. But at the same time, I win. Which is good. I was scared of that continuing tomorrow. I don't know what's happening in door four of Fadamoru, but I know I don't want it continuously spammed with piano noises. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for donating the food funds, Den Den was an interesting chapter a nice little light part followed by what looked terrifying and then ended up yeah the guy was actually our friend good shit want to have a technical test no i'd rather not it seems to be working for now see i still hear alban and those are streamlab donations i'm safe i'm safe we're free <laughs> the piano got bonked yeah until i have to spend a lot of time offline trying to figure it out again wait that was a sunny one the comment grabber didn't grab wait what youtube didn't even grab that where the f yeah. hello youtube are you having a day i mean i can see it but okay that says <laughs> it's from mommy oh mommy Goko. good evening i'm glad to hear Fuchan talking happily again I can do my best tomorrow too. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for donating the food funds. That's so sweet of you. I hope you do do your best tomorrow. I hope everything goes really. Kamiko, what the hell? We're going to get to that in a minute. That was a Streamlabs. Jesus. Alvin Doko, Alvin everywhere. We can't escape Alvin. But yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Jesus. I was reading this one. Um, good luck with everything tomorrow. Mommy, I think it's Goko. I call. Either way. Have a wonderful evening. Good luck with everything tomorrow. Best of luck with everything. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Sparrow Splat. In lo in memory of the doo 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 doo. <laughs> I don't even remember how it went. That's the funny thing. I have never heard that sound in my life. I honestly thought it was part of the game the first time we heard it. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Luthier. Sheepies, Deadly Worm versus Seahorse voice pack. Who wins? Or maybe both. I mean... You want me to just talk like this for a whole stream? I can. Hello, everybody. I am the worm that comes when you pass away. As we all end up the remains of the day. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. That's a good song. I like Corpse Bride. Anyway. <laughs> Sigh, I got his voice simp. <clears throat> Monsters. Good evening, Fuchan. Thanks for the fun stream. I thought I couldn't survive watching this creepy game, but it was surprisingly fun. I even managed to finish a whole draw. Why is it back? In what reality would it come back at this point? I have no idea what's going on. I will figure it the fuck out later. I even managed to I even managed to finish a whole drawing. I was very inspired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating the food fund, Sai. I am glad to hear that. I hope the drawing... I hope you enjoyed doing the drawing. I'm glad to hear it inspired you. It's making sound without any reason now. There's not even donations. This is the new fucking Sarah thing. It's just jump scaring me. Piano could a real go. Or maybe it's just super delayed. I don't know. It shouldn't have two separate sounds. I know that much. <laughs> anyway. Apple Spider, for real. Thank you for the stream today, Fuchan. Been home on sick leave for the last week and been bummed out about it. I need to catch up on VODs and streams that helped a lot. But are you? Thank you. Sally or the piano? Uh, I think I'll take Sally. Sally at least says words. The piano is just creepy. It just comes out of nowhere and just... Random. R.I.P. Piano Sound. I will miss you. I didn't. Somehow it's back. Somehow I got resurrected. That's fine. Thank you for donating the food funds, Jasmine Kikuchi. 
step. The jump scare woke me up all night. <laughs> Thank you for the stream and the amazing VA. I'll catch up on the VOD later. That's the main thing. If I could just turn it down, it wouldn't be so annoying. It's just... It shouldn't be. It should not exist. <laughs> I already made sure it was just Albin. I, I don't know where the piano is coming from. Uh, Lily Cha, your voice acting is amazing. It makes the story more immersive. Thank you, Fu-chan. Your voice is so soothing. Aw, that's so sweet to hear. I'm glad you enjoy the voice acting. I always have so much fun doing it. It's just a fun time. But thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and feel free to fall asleep as I'm just talking at the end of this. Thank you to all the Sarahs. Uh, yeah, I called it Sarah instead of Sally. That was my bad. Right after I sent my super, it came back. You resuscitated it. Oh no. <laughs> In one of the many realities, there is always a piano. Yeah, that's got to be the fifth reality. I I don't want to go to that reality. If we could move away from that reality, it would be great. I'm wondering if we're going to get a random piano sound in about like five to 30 seconds. Because if we are, that just means it's massively delayed, which I guess would at least make sense. <sighs> but we'll find out. Um, We're down to Hersu Xiaosheng. I'm going to refresh this. Yes. Okay. God damn it. Miu, thank you for donating the food funds again. So many donations in a row. Big ones as well. Thank you very much. The sound of you frightened makes me sleep well. Thanks for the stream. I'm glad I caught up. I hope you rest well. I'm glad my frightenedness helped you. <laughs> glad that helped out. You know what? Yeah, this is kind of a horror game, even though the piano is more horrifying than anything else. As long as you had a good time, that's what matters. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> And I did too with the game, just not so much with the jump scares. Thank you for donating the food funds, Mio. Have a wonderful evening. Um, Shimomi. Ba ba ba. Not sorry, but sorry for my nyas before the stream starts. It's okay. I was honestly, there were points after I had said, like, if you guys continue nyaing, we'll never stop the stream, where it kept going. I was so close to ending the stream. <laughs> I was just going to end the stream and just be like, ah, I'll start it up in like five more minutes. I just want them to sweat a little bit. It would have been really funny, in my opinion. So I'm glad you guys stopped with the nyas early. Because it kept going for a while. There were a couple of people that were like, ba ba nya. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. They do it. I'm going to give them like one more warning. And then if it happens one more time. No, you didn't. Nah, I was close. That's why I like, before I came back, I did again the whole like, mm, it seems to be safe now. I'm going to switch. Like I gave you guys like 20 seconds there. Where I was like, if anybody does it while I'm talking now, if anybody decides to be a smart ass, it's getting shut down. <laughs> that would have been funny. But either way. <laughs> Not sure if I have to punish myself for this by copying I will never nya before Fuchan stream starts. Nah. It was it was just a weird thing to see in my chat. And so I decided to punish you guys a bit. I was already running late anyway. I, I took too long to come out of the <laughs> The stream with Mr. playing Valorant. So that's on me. I was going to be a bit late anyway, but then I was like, I'm just going to let them sweat a little bit. Do you want a bark woof instead, Fu? No, the hey, hey, hey is bad enough as it is. At least the hey, hey, hey makes sense. It feels a bit cultish, but <laughs> at least it's people saying hey at the beginning of the stream. People barking or buying or nyaying at the beginning of the stream. Anybody new shows up is like, oh, who's this four grovid guy? Let me take a look. They're going to be like, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> what about Bark, Bark, Bark? Again, no. No. If I showed up to a stream and it was like, oh, shit, it's just starting. This is perfect. And I see everyone in chat going, Bark, Bark, Bark. I'm just going to be like. No. No. That's what I'd do. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> maybe that's just me. It's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe, man. The hey, hey, hey is like, that's okay. That makes sense. Surapi, Atsufu-chan. Thanks for the stream. No problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. And cancelled artist. I was making lip balm while watching the stream, and too much got in my mouth. Now my stomach hurts. Have a wonderful day, Fu-chan. I have many questions. <laughs> when you say you were making lip balm, at first I thought you meant actually making it. Now I think you mean you were applying lip balm. 
you were applying lip balm, did you like start to laugh and accidentally stick it in your mouth? I'm, I'm guessing this is a joke. If this isn't a joke, please do take care of yourself. You may have to go to the hospital to get your stomach pumped. Um, I'm assuming it is a joke, in which case just, I'm glad you had so much fun laughing and or cringing. <laughs> I've actually seen somebody eat an entire stick of chapstick before, so I think you'll be fine, even if you did, like, eat a bit of lip balm. But yeah, just take care of yourself, just in case. How did you eat it? I'm guessing it's one of those things where, like, they were trying to apply lip balm, but then they kept laughing, and so, you know, the head moving backwards and forwards kind of thing. That's what I'm imagining. I'm not joking, I just tasted it too much. Oh, oh, tested it too- Oh, you were literally making lip balm. Holy fuck! That's actually really cool. Number one, thank you for remembershipping. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Number two, yeah, I hope you feel better soon. It is edible after all. Yeah, but it's quite a lot of taste. <laughs> Take care of yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Maru Maru, Otsu sad. I'm a sheep. I can't nya. I can only ma. <laughs> Why did I have to read that, Maru Maru? <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a wonderful time. <laughs> Stomach is lubricated now. Yo. When you go a level beyond throat goat. <laughs> a level beyond throat goat. The stomach goat. The stomach. Let's see what rhymes with stomach. Let's see if there's any funny way to say this. Stomach rhymes. Yeah, I'm looking up a rhyming dictionary. This is how much I'm committing to this. There's only eight results. Plumic. Four stomach and stomach. Polysomic. Donic. That's it. Nothing rhymes with stomach, man. Mm. What about intestine? Intestine champion. Intestine. Intestine. Mestin. Lestin. Restin. Intestine never be resting. No, that's not good. Mm. I give up. I give up. This is fine. I admit my defeat. I know when to give in. Either way, <laughs> I hope your stomach feels better. Claudine, seriously, the whole VTuber community seemed like a cult to me in autumn. I had to learn so many words to understand what everyone is talking about. Yeah, that's very true. Like you first get into like VTubers, especially corpo VTubers, where we have like all the like Zatsudan Tas. Yano's back. <laughs> if for no reason. Uh, where we have like Zatsudans. Okay, no, I'm hunting this. Where, where would it be? Where, it literally can't be anywhere. And now it just keeps going. I feel like I have a virus. Wait, I'm not on... No, I'm not on Discord. That would have been a really fucking funny prank. genuinely don't get it i genuinely don't. it's haunted it feels haunted we're just going to ignore it we're going to ignore it and move and move on thank you for donating the food funds claudines i hope you're having a wonderful day it'll be fine once i have everything set up for sunday up until that point i don't know if i can do anything about it it's kind of stuck there piano too powerful yeah piano too powerful what if I turn the volume of my PC way down? Turn the volume of my music way up. And then we shouldn't be able to hear the piano too much. You guys might be able to, but I won't be able to. Perfect. <laughs> Chimu, thank you for donating the food funds. Also, what is that? What is that cute little piggy holding? I have to translate what that says because I have no idea. The timing of ignore it. I mean, more the timing of the piano, as I said, ignore it. Yada yada. <laughs> it's just yada yada. Yada yada. Thank you for donating the food funds. Maybe it'll stop if you play Rush E. Would. Of course you'd let us suffer. Yeah, it's up to you guys now. It's you guys' problem. I'm free. I won't be able to hear it. Anyway, back to Streamlabs. Oh my god. Elsie, thank you for donating the food funds. It says not to read out loud, but thank you so much for donating. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, Ksenia, clink plonk. <laughs> Out of character. Did it fixed? Mitsu, spamming before you can change anyway. Oh, damn it. Um, do so 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 so. 
The alert piano sounds kind of cute though. <laughs> Love to see you play dark games because it always brings a more relaxing atmosphere. It makes me feel less scared, but focus more on the storyline. Thank you are for playing this game and the incredible VA as always. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for donating the food funds. It stopped. I don't trust it. It's hiding in the shadows somewhere. It'll be back, but it's fine. <laughs> and Miu. I hope I catch up the piano sound, damn. How often did they... That's the thing. There wasn't even like three messages in a row. So there's no reason they should have played three times in a row. It's just randomly happening. It stopped for now. Exactly for now. Thank you for donating the food funds and you. Um, no need to read. Okay. Aww. I'm glad you enjoyed your day. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us. And Kamiko. With the huge 10 times... Oh god. Super. God damn. Good time. Just in case I miss your birthday stream, a very early happy birthday to you. I wish you enjoy the birthday with your friends and all the confidants. Have another wonderful year. Continue doing what you like for the contents and stay healthy. Thank you so much, Kabiko. That's so sweet of you. I am looking forward to the birthday as well. I know all the people like within Nidisanji Ien in general are going to love the um things. What are they going to love? <laughs> the Totsumatsu karaoke in the crab game. And yeah, we've got that for you guys to all enjoy as well. A bunch of group games. I'm going to love the Noctic stick fight. It will be head empty, just murdering each other. And then the day after in the morning for me, but the end of the day, if you live in Asia or Australia, <laughs> then we'll have our time where we just do a Zatsudan and just chat and catch up. I'll be showing some things. If you haven't joined the membership, I showed one of the things that I'll be showing on that day at the end of the last membership. And it's actually, yeah, to anyone who saw the membership stream last time, that's what's fucking me up right now, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, we're testing that on and off and making sure everything's working, but I'm pretty sure it's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 doing its own thing <laughs> with a placeholder sound effect. Hunter. <laughs> but thank you again, Kamiko, for the huge, huge, huge donation. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you for donating that through Streamlabs as well, because, yeah, Streamlabs has such a better split for us, so that's so sweet. That's a huge thank you birthday present. Um, what will I use that for? I just bought a new keyboard. <laughs> so I'm finally going to get rid of the thing where like the keyboard volume stops going up and down at the right time. So that'll be good. I got like a fancy one. Um, let me see what its name is. Ah, Logitech K100 RGB. So it also has a few extra buttons, which I'm going to be using just to press to start the stream. It has like buttons that essentially work like stream deck buttons. Keyboard, is it mechanical? I don't know about that. <laughs> I just know it has all kinds of things in it. It's a really good keyboard. And yeah, I was sick of like... For some reason, this one, it has like a volume slider on it, but the volume slider on this keyboard has just been broken for like... Since two weeks after I bought it, it will just randomly turn the volume up or down by itself. Logitech is a good brand? Hell yeah. RGB for aesthetic? It wasn't even for that. I mean, <laughs> I bought it because it has like a bunch of extra um, function keys. That you can program to do like a bunch of things at the same time so i'm going to set those up to be macros to like start the stream and end the stream finally going to have a macro so that it like turns us to the ending thing and plays the ending song at the same time so that will stop sounding so unprofessional it'll happen at the same time that'll be great what keyboard is that fufu um i'll write it out again yeah k100 blah 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 logitech K100 or GB. Ah, that's the one. Idiot. Yeah, that one. Nice, we upgraded. Yeah. Upgrading quite a few of things. Woohoo. Yeah, actually. Sunday's going to be interesting. Sunday, I get to show off a lot of things. A lot of the things that I didn't think would be ready in time, two of them suddenly look like they'll actually be ready in time. So that's great as well. Have any asset change buttons? Oh, I'm not going to use them for that. I'll use my stream deck for that. But I'll have like those five extra buttons just to do like, yeah, switching around stream things. Hey, yo, hype. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to showing off some of the things. Me do. Or me who. I feel like I'll hear the piano in my dreams later. I know I will. That shit jump scared me way too many times. Especially when I thought it was dead and then it came back. Also love the prince, princess bubblegum avatar. I haven't thought about Adventure Time in ages. Oh, I missed the scroll. I oh, know. 
No, I imagined it. It's fine. <laughs> just talking to myself. Don't worry. No, don't worry about me. I'm just being it's silly. Okay, back to Streamlabs. Uh, I miss having the full numericals. Yeah, I like having a full keyboard. I can't do it without like the numpad and all the numbers on top and everything. It feels wrong. Okay, um, Kami. Test, test. Is this a jump scare? <laughs> test, test. It certainly was. It was a fun time. <laughs> Thanks for donating the food funds, Kami, you troll. <laughs> Ryu, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, just a cute cow emoji. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Amagure, I can't join 326, so... Chato... Ai... 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 Hayakedo. Chato Hayakedo. Otsukare-sama. Wait, no. Otanjo B. <laughs> oh, I translated that first bit so wrong. So happy birthday. Chat's moving first, but happy birthday, I think it says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Choto Hayakedo. Oh, so not chat's moving fast. It's a little early. Hayakedo like that. Choto Hayakedo. It's a little early, but happy birthday. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Amegure, arigato. Thank you so much. It's a bit early. Yeah, I read it as chato. <laughs> uh, damn it. Damn it. I, I tried. Did you guys enjoy the game? It's a nostalgic favorite of mine. Yeah, it's been good so far. It needs to nail the ending, though. I think we're pretty close to the ending. We're on chapter four, part two. I feel like there was either five chapters or six chapters. Either way, we'll definitely finish it next time. I will do my best. You tried, I tried. Trying is all you can really ask of anyone, honestly. Just, yeah. Try your best. Do or do not. There is no try. That's the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> there is try, damn it, and trying is important. Anyway. Numtan. Oh, thank you for donating the food funds. It says not to read out loud. But I'm going to do it anyway. Happy birthday, Numtan. Yo, we've got so many birthdays in the sheep pile today. Is it a Logitech K100 or a Corsair K100? It might be a Corsair. <laughs> it's the one with the little boats on it. Yeah, that Corsairs are a type of boat. I, I thought it was a Logitech. It it's a K100. Yeah, yeah. It must be the Corsair. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, Numtan. Thank you so much for donating to the food funds. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining us. It is Corsair. My bad. <laughs> damn it. Oh, God damn it. Ksenia, thank you for donating to the food fund. No message, but I hope you're having a wonderful day. And Lulu the Sheep. Atsufu, thank you for the stream. Have a great one, Fufu and Confidants. I'm sure we all will. Thank you so much for donating. And finally, Puppy. March 23rd is International Puppy Day. No way. Happy International Pup Puppy Day to your doggo. Oh, he's had a great morning so far. Surely not a keyb person? Nah, I use keyboards as much as I need them and then I'm done with them. International Puppy Day. March 23rd. Wow. I didn't know that was a thing. I wonder if they're having specials on like adopting puppies right now then. Puppies deserve good hugs and treats. Hell yeah, they do. Especially on International Puppy Day. Man, I kind of wish there was a shelter near me. Not to adopt one, just to go visit and pet some dogs. It'd be nice to walk dog past one of those. Just let him exercise a little bit and say hi to all the other dogs. We don't have one near me. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds anyway. Happy puppy day. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And Yumi, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Okay, we're caught up on all the stream labs and all the super chats. So I can stop this and restart it and we'll just chat for a little bit before we head out. But yeah, Franbo has been damn good so far. Like I said, I was interested in the surprise. With Mr. Creepy Man, it would actually be a good, decent dude. And that whole kingdom was pretty nice. The whole kingdom where everybody were bugs and trees and stuff. Do you think he would interact well with strange dogs? Oh yeah, he's an idiot. There will be dogs trying to rip his throat out and he'll be play bowing in front of them. I think I've said this before. Like there are some dogs around me. Like most of them are just scared of him and just kind of like run around and bark at him. But that... I heard a tiny bit of the piano. I heard one bit of the piano. That's so creepy. Sorry, we're ignoring it. Uh, <laughs> there's one dog. There's a giant like Alaskan Malamute that every time I walk past it, like barks, growls, its hair stands on end. I'm still hearing the piano. 
it very clearly like wants to murder and yeah dog will just like walk past it play bow in front of it like jump up left and right around it very clearly show that it wants to play and then move on you know what it might mm. i think i know what that is actually it might not be connected to my streamlabs it's all in your head it might be in my head it might be in my head are you directly calling him an idiot he's an idiot but in the best way like he's an idiot to the point where one he doesn't think he can die <laughs> and two he's just so dumb he can't understand the idea of like something being afraid of him or something wanting to hurt him he's just like oh no it's another dog dogs want to play i only ever want to play surely this dog just wants to sniff my butt and jump on top of me be fine that's why i love dogs they're stupid but they're stupid in a great way amelie it's my birthday there's so many birthdays but i'd like to wish you an every ah, lovely day it's been a really fun year thanks to you i'm looking forward to so much more fun memories this year Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Amelie. Happy birthday to all of our March sheep. Especially so many sheep today. God damn. I need to see this avatar. Oh, that looks evil as shit. I love it. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful birthday too. I hope you make sure to take care of yourself. Make sure you like bought yourself a cake. Had a good time. Spoil yourself a bit too. But thank you so much for donating the food funds. 23rd is when so many sheep were born. Mm. All right, you know what we have to do? I mean, technically this will work for me too. So let's go nine months backwards. March. <laughs> February. January. <laughs> December. No, let's, go to that. let's go to nine months forward. What am I doing? No, it's nine months backwards. Okay. Third month. That'll take us to the sixth month. June. June? Right. Yeah, that's nine months. Hmm. They're just summer babies. Just people whose parents who happen to get frisky around early summer. That makes sense. Late June. Spring babies. Yeah, I mean, I guess like, yeah, end of spring, early summer. That's a good time. That's a time a lot of families like take holidays. Like the beginning of the school break for some people. Yeah. June weddings, that true, that too. It could be, you know. What's the word? <laughs> Fuck. There's a word for, like, there's a nice way of saying, like, something the wedding. <laughs> officiating? No, it's not officiating. Anyway, you know what I mean. Honeymoon? Yeah, honeymoon, essentially. You have to, like, christen the wedding or something? Consummate. Thank you. Consummating the wedding. Consummating the marriage. Oh, God. Probably what happened with me, too. Lovely. There you go. I've creeped myself out as well. I hope you guys are happy. Didn't need to know when my parents banged, sir. And yet now you do. And now I do. It's pretty much the same timeline. Olga is a June made baby, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Thank you for donating me the food fund. Oh my god, I, I'm sorry. I don't know how to read any of these. Let me translate them. Bum, bum, bum. Boop, boop. Yi shan shi. That might be the wrong pronunciation. It doesn't often give the actual pronunciation for traditional Chinese but thank you so much for donating the food funds thank you so much I hope you're having a wonderful day no message but thank you so much for being here I hope you have a wonderful time Marley I saw you point that gun at me earlier so I came with a buttload of sheep to back me up I'll get us all food chan or can't I you want to go let's see about this we're gonna see if I can get you all at once mm. three two one one gunshot and the second gunshot for chat yeah i can get you all at once get fucked <laughs> i win in two gunshots that was a bazooka it could be worse i could bring the thunder anyone who was comfortably sleeping has now Shat themselves. <laughs> thank you for shoving more sheep. Yeah, thank you for the gifted subs, Bior. How dare you shot us two times? Technically, I shot one comment once, and then I shot all of you guys once. And you guys went down with one shot, so I mean, really? Ever fought one? <sighs> Do I look like Vox Akuma? No, I don't have a fart one. 
I have some weird ones. I have a crow. I also have a creaky door. Good horror ambience. Good horror ambience. Uh, anyway, let me bring you guys back. It's lonely. Get on up here, chat, you silly billies. Thank you for donating the food funds, Marley. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Why do you have so many? Um, just in case I have any to freak you guys out. Tell you what I don't have. A piano jingle. <laughs> McVaka. Hey, Futan. I was playing Munchkin in stream with some friends yesterday. I thought you and maybe Chuji Sanji would love it being a chaotic party game and all. Let me look up Munchkin. And that's my keyboard deciding to turn up the volume by itself. See what I mean? See what I mean? Eight. Eight. Munchkin online game. Mini Futan really woke up. Good morning, Rain. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful evening. <laughs> Feel free to rest well after this. Pianos aren't friendly today? Apparently not, man. Everything's going wrong in my system. It feels like I'm being haunted, which is pretty fun. Um, oh, this looks interesting. It's like a card battler. This is multiplayer? Hmm. I'll have a look at that later. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about it, and I hope you have a wonderful evening, McVaca. Started dozing again, and the thunder scared me out there. Good. Good cataclysm. That was the plan. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> they put so. My birthday was two weeks ago, but thank you. Happy to be one in the sheep pile for more than a year now. One of the best things that happened to me. Thank you, as always. Thank you so much. Glad to hear you've enjoyed being in the sheep pile for a year. Membership got to be fun soon, too. Is the ghost hot, though? I don't know. It ain't even showing itself. That's the problem. I like to be haunted by hot ghosts. We've had many hot ghosts in some of the games we played. Paranormal HK had that cute girl in the red dress. And my girlfriend who turned into a demon. Hmm. Been a hot, lot of hot ghosts. And demons. We're currently dealing with that weird snake demon. The Naga thing. The crap. What do you call it? Lamia. The Lamia in Warlong Fallen Dynasty. You gonna riz up a ghost now? If I could, they won't show themselves. I don't know if they're hot. They may be scary type of ghost. I don't know. Paranormal HK was great. Yeah. What about Blue Knees? No. Blue Knees doesn't do it for me. Oh, God. Why? How dare? The other ghost in that one, the old lady? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Monster fuckers unite. True, though. No. True. <laughs> Mio Art cried, Atsufu and TY for the stream. I'm too busy these weeks, so I haven't finished the last Frambo VOD yet, and I fell asleep at the gameplay today. Love the piano jump scares in your VA so much. So happy that today I got a one year badge. Yo, congratulations. Welcome back to the sheep pile. Happy birthday for all the March sheeps. Aw, oh, there's been so many. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Yeah, man. Monster Frick is eating good recently. Just a shame I can't play. Hmm, let's not even say the game, the name of the game out loud. <laughs> you have, uh, there's a market for that. There always is. Welcome to the One Year Club. Yeah, we got so many sheep hiding in wolves' clothing. Awesome. Olga has Riz. I never said I had Riz. You guys want me to play five dates and then ten dates? We can do that. It's, I actually wouldn't mind trying that. I think I saw a bit of. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw a bit of Millie playing one. Who decided to be born in March and not tell me? Well, nobody gets to decide. That's up to the parents. <laughs> do it. Bet. I mean, I do pretty good on Monster Prom. Maybe it's just Monster Girls I'm good at. And Monster Guys. Yeah. Second one, I got a Monster Guy. Anyway. I would watch that. We can do that. Yes, please. The second one, remember, I just whip... <laughs> I won by whipping my dick out. <laughs> that's how, that's literally how I won Damien. That was great. I forgot how fucking funny the end of that was. <laughs> Most of the way through that game, it was like, this was so stupid. It was so sad. I got locked onto the Damien route. And then it got to that point and I was like, you know what? I kind of love this for an ending. That's great. <laughs> Folger monster love for real. Yeah. Maybe that's the secret ending to Warlong. Maybe I don't need to kill the Lamia. Maybe I need to riz the Lamia. The Lamia. There's actually a ghost dating simulator. Tell me the name of it. 
I will start getting permissions right now. <laughs> Your favorite place in Monster Camp. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I want to show you something. It's my favorite place. <laughs> Joseph Root still pissed me off. Oh, that was Dream Daddy. Yeah, Dream Daddy was a whole nother thing. Dream Daddy, I only really liked the first route we did. Yeah, the other one, Joseph fucking sucked. Wed Lady by sure, it's what she deserves. Oh, she deserves to be with the man she's waiting for. But I mean, yeah, I can keep her company for a little while. I could do that. Lady White Snake deserves the monk, but still. We got it's an indie. It's an indie game. Okay. This talk reminded me of Sucker for Love. Is that the one with like the Cthulhu spirit thing in it? I feel like it is. Dead by Daylight dating game. I'm definitely not playing that one. <laughs> I know that's been there for a while. Hooked. Um, hooked on love. Sucker for Love? Sucker for Love, yeah. I feel like that's the one, yeah, with Cthulhu. Oh my god. Let me see the characters in it. We'll, we'll, we'll see this. Sucker for Love. I definitely don't have any feelings about Cthulhu girl other than fear um tentacles on the face not fun there's also a dragon girl what looks like a princess robot what the f I don't get these characters <sighs> sucker for love characters <laughs> um Wow, it doesn't even have a wiki. That's kind of scary. <laughs> oh my god. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, here's a voice count. Huntress is hot. Look her up. Mm. Do, 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 do. Ah, fuck yeah. I'll look it up later. It's too hard. It's too indie. Are these characters worthy of Riz? That's the question. Not the Dead by Daylight. Oh, you meant the Huntress in Dead by Daylight? Mm hmm. Huntress dead by daylight. Uh uh. Uh uh. Bunny rabbit face? Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Huntress hooked on love. Dead by daylight dating sim. Um. Ah, she looks better there at least. Damn. Muscles for days. In the main game? No, terrifying. <laughs> she could kill you with love, how dare. She could crush me with her thighs, I could tell you that much. I may have titanium thighs. I'm pretty sure all that muscle still beats me. He's hooked on a feeling. Still not playing that game. <laughs> what would Fuchan be like if we had a Niji EN dating sim? I'd probably be a bit like Damien is in those games. So you'd have to like, you wouldn't be, no. It'd be a mix of like Damien and Scott from those two from yeah monster prom i'd be like oblivious to you flirting with me and i'd also just be trying to have chaotic fun time and then you'd have to do something ridiculous at the end like whip it out and then i'd be like oh wow that's what you meant <laughs> this whole time i thought we were just like you know playing pranks on each other and shit yeah that that would that would be the kind of route muscle lady hell yeah Fight tower. Uchan and Niji and dating sim monsters. Yeah, I'd like to think I'd be an undateable option too. Like you'd go that far and you'd be you'd, you'd like you'd get like a scene where it wasn't quite smashing. It was just like, oh, we spent a night reading books together and fell asleep in each other's arms. And in the morning, he was fucking gone. He was out of there to find his own monster wife or husband. Waifu or husbando. That was the problem there. I couldn't remember husbando. What did you say waifu? It's like waifu husbando. Eh. You never hear monster husbando. God damn it. We need more male monster dating sims. One just came out, but it's way too 18 rated. <laughs> One came out that has gorgeous artwork. Big, buff, manly monsters. And unfortunately, it's 18 plus and we're never going to be able to touch it. We're never going to be able to play it. <laughs> Which one? Um, shit. What was it called? Let me look it up. I know who the artist's name is. Artist is Jovru. Ah, Dear Monster. It's called Dear Monster. 
It's super 18 plus rated. It's not going to happen. Yo, Tofu's been drawing Alvin. Why? Tofu, <laughs> you're all about big, thick men. Why do you keep drawing Alvin, Yan? He's tiny. That's sad. <laughs> yes, I'm jealous. Fight me. <laughs> Saw a video recommendation of you and I had to come by to say you're amazing. Oh, that's sweet. Midoriya chan. <gasps> no baby boy. No baby green boy. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the stream. He likes to be tall. He is a long cat. He is a long, long cat. Alvin has the rights too. Jolfru's art is amazing anyway. Oh uh, yeah, just search Jolfru. You'll see them on Twitter. Um, they, they did the art for Dear Monster as well. We can't play it, but I had my eyes on that for a while. <laughs> Stretch the cat. Give him rights. He, he has rights. He's just, you know... He's baby boy. He's <laughs> baby, baby boy. Oh my god. Long cat that wants uppies. Only from Sani. That's not true. Mostly from Sani. <laughs> Would you want to see a buff album? You're damn well right I do. <laughs> if I'm gonna have to see any fan art of Alvin, I want him big and buff. I want him to look like a tiger rather than a cat. That'd be fucking... That would be weird, actually. I'm imagining it now and I don't like it. He can't even do daddy voice. It wouldn't work. He literally is terrified of daddy voice. That's his cope mode. You heard him? No, no, no. None of that. You think a while? Yeah, I spoke too soon. I spoke, then I imagined it and I was like, you know what? No, we have to shut that shit down. Nope. Nope. Now it's in my head. <laughs> the developer's name is Love Nuts. Oh, hell yeah. Um, ba -bum. Got a news recently, apparently. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I keep getting news about that one as well. Weird. It's spamming me news on that one. <laughs> anyway. I think we're ready to stop for the day. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. I got one more super chat while I was distracted. Sorry. Um, Tsukumi. I'm sorry, sir, but I set your cake on fire. <laughs> I mean, the asset I'm working on, fire cake is always fun. I had fire berries today. Uh, anyway, have a nice day, Borg. There'll be a cakeless asset for you soon. Cakeless asset? That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it showing up in full ass. I've already got so many. The room is going to be filled. Thank you for donating the food funds to Kumi. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And thank you all for being here. Hmm. We didn't end the nightmare. I'm still not going to change the name for this stream because I'm too lazy. But at the same time, we did our best. Let's see if anybody's streaming right now. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Millie's streaming. Oh, of course she is. She's trying to one and done stray. Okay, I'm going to be able to send you guys to Millie probably. If she fixed her shit. <laughs> Jenin, Otsuhu-chan. Do you know how the cows laugh? They go, muhahaha. Muhahaha. Gonna self yeet before you catch me. Um, uh, about that, I'm pretty sure I can catch you no matter how much. You, that was that was. Mm, 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 that's. Mm. We we got to deal with this one. How do we deal with this one? Um, probably this way. Yeah, that. I'm glad. I'm glad that was the last comment of the day. That was a perfect ending for me to say. I'm. I'm not angry, sheep. I'm not angry, confidants. I'm just disappointed. Just disappointed. Thank you all for joining me for the stream today. I'll be off now. Do not be led astray. My confidants will be back tomorrow, finally, for more House in Fada Morgana. The House in Fada Morgana, aka Fada Moru. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Final super chat on the way out. Somebody just slid in. Sisodo, Otsufu. I fell asleep at the end. I didn't see what happened to Fran, but since it's 2.30 a.m. here, we didn't finish just yet, so don't worry. You can catch up and we'll finish it next week. Anyways, I finally settled to the new house and I think it's haunted. I think I'm being haunted recently too. Something weird's going on in my computer and it's terrifying. <laughs> have a lovely day and evening, everybody. Thank you so much, Sono. You have a wonderful evening too. To everybody else, do not be led astray. And as always, I will catch you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.
and as usual, no way out. I had to mute that instantly. <laughs> And as usual on the way out, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. Everybody who joined for the first time, everybody who's rejoined, and everybody who donated gifted membership to the sheep pile, including Lala. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership. Oh my god. Cappuccino. Lily. Yellow Kie. Vala. Zui, Chen Regine, Samantha, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Confidence, Unfantasia, Neon, BMXN.P, Emma Chan, Addy Liners, Nara, Nova, Mesa, Maru Maru, thank you so much for the five gifted. You may hire, thank you so much for the gifted. Shironya. Satoshi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Annabelle, thank you so much for the ten gifted, oh my god. Cancelled artist. Chat Sama. And Yumi, thank you so much for the five gifted. Mao Tian. Mio Art Cried, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. And finally, oh. <laughs> Wait, Mio Art Cried again. Oh, not gifted this time. Mio Arkwright, thank you for joining the sheep pile. Welcome back for a full year. And finally, cappuccino. Everybody have a wonderful evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. We'll be back at 10 a.m. EST in the morning for more house in Fada Morgana, so look forward to that. Okay, she did fix it good. And thank you also for the gifted membership, Luthier. Have a wonderful evening, do not be led astray, and as always, I will catch you all next time.